This morning, everyone did a beautiful golf course in Panchkula, playing in the Dry City. Professional golf course in India. Comes very high skilled players, showcasing their skills. Now we are moving on to the round of the highlights of the round of the round and the host in the middle of the round 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 giving you live commentary and video coverage of the Haryana Open 2023 powered by Wonder Cements from the beautiful city of Panchkula and Panchkula Golf Club. That's a very interesting day ahead of us. Uh, we presented the round three to you and some exciting golf had taken place with a lot of lead, uh, a lot of the leaders changing hands throughout the round, which meant a lot of birdies were made. And today doesn't seem to be Today seems to be a very good day, actually. Very sunny, bright day. The winds don't seem to be howling, so that means we can have a lot of birdies running in today as well. Yes, as the tour makes its way towards Haryana Open, which is in Pankula, we have the race, which is going on for the Tata Steel Tour Championship, coming more and more towards a drawing close with only a few events left, but very big prize money events. So here's a look at the tournaments which will be coming up in and around your cities. So if you are an avid golfer, I suggest you have a look at it. Jeev Milka Singh Invitational at Chandigarh, IOC Masters Golf 2023 in Big Boy, beautiful Assam, and a big event coming in the NCR region after a while, it is a Grand Thornton Invitational by Mr. Kapil Dev, followed up by the second oldest golf course outside the British Isles, which will be Royal Calcutta hosting the SSP Karasia Invitational. And then we move on to the beautiful pink city of Jaipur for the event, which will be this last two, second, and uh, we'll make sure who decides to go and get into the season ender the tata steel tour championship basically at the commencement of jaipur we will have a clear idea of who are the top 60 players who make their way towards tata steel tour championship which will be held in jamshedpur and has a staggering prize money of three cr seems like a very exciting future and these are the current rankings that make up the top 10. We have Om Prakash Chauhan, no surprises there. He's been very consistent and always looking around the top of the leaderboard as he is this week as well. And in number two, we have Aman Raj, close pursuit. Winner this year, twice indeed. So Aman Raj would want to have a say for the top position by the end of this season. And uh, the top three is rounded up by Karan Pratap Singh, the young lad from Haryana. And then we have Sachin Besoya, who's also in and around the leaders in this tournament. And then we have some international flavor with Jamal Hussain at number five, with Gaurav Pratap Singh and Anthanga Raja making the sixth and seventh spots. Akshay Sharma, Sanit, and Harinder Gupta round up the top 10. And Akshay Sharma would have an interesting say in this tournament that he is our current leader at 15 under par, starting round four here at the Panchkula event. 2023 presented by Wonder Cements. So an interesting mix and uh, that order merit might take a look and might take a change from by the end of this event or uh, in the coming few events as we watch the first team that has uh, Jay Sharma and Gagan Chadda, probably with some words of encouragement and positivity. It's very interesting to understand uh, and be available for the tours players to, for any kind of assistance. Both of these gentlemen are very helpful and uh, very close friends with most of the players. Now, as we saw on number two, we had the order of merit, current order of merit leader, Om Prakash Chauhan. Uh, and now we have the local lad, Angad Chima. Yes, Angad uh, hails from this very city himself and a prolific player. He turned pro in 2013, boasts a singular title under his belt, uh, a big title which he won in Sri Lanka. 
he would be like being, looking to make amends on it. And it's good to see somebody taking off the driver, the big stake out on the very first hole and trying to challenge the very first hole. Yes, because if you remember yesterday, Anger took out a hybrid of sorts. Now he's definitely taking the more aggressive route starting round four. Yes, uh, the guy is starting at this particular group, which comprises of Angad, Om Prakash, and uh, Kapil. They will have to power up with a few birdies to catch up the leaders. And that's a brilliant try by Angad. He'll have a very short flip kind of a chip left in to the hole. And the man who's been working tediously like a machine is next on the tee, Mr. Om Prakash Chauhan, with a staggering nine wins under his belt. Had a bit of a rough day with the putter yesterday. I'm sure he's got his worries behind him and would be looking to demonstrate his golfing powers, as they say. A quick uh, pick up of the tee that would imply that he's in the fairway. And yes, you know, despite him having a, a rather colder day with the putter yesterday, he's still rounding up the top 10, sitting at 8 under par. And now we have uh, Kapil Kumar teeing it up on the first, the third member of this group. Kapil Kumar is from Turgao, plays at the DLF and Country Club. Kapil looking for his first win. He takes a swipe and also a quick pickup of the tee and he's comfortably off the first. Yes, Kapil's been in and around the podium finishes quite a few times. I'm sure he will also be looking forward to move in the right direction towards his first trophy. and. Uh, a bit of a long wait for them to see how they ferry in their stretch of 18 holes. And uh, a few players are already out on the course. And uh, Mr. Yes S. M. Chandra is making the best use of it as he is already two under par in the stretch of his first three holes. So that's a very good start. Yes, yeah, so I think uh, the group just we saw teeing off, um, all three of them starting the round at eight under par, which is which is an impressive score to start on, but then they're also seven shots behind the lead Akshay Sharma. Do you think maybe they have a shot? Maybe they have a chance to catch up today? Yes, people sitting pretty at eight under par beginning the round uh, four have a definite chance, but they'll have to summon the golfing gods and dig really, really deep because from the looks of it, how the way the people have uh, fired up on the top of the leaderboard in terms of uh, Mr. Akshay Sharma and Jairat Singh Sandhu, they have uh, distanced themselves, at least from the people who are still in single digits. So it will take some really big, 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 deep golfing capabilities, and I'm sure it can still be achieved. Yes, I'm certain of the same thing because these boys are not shy of shooting some very low, deep red numbers. Uh, we've seen all of them throughout their careers shoot numbers of 60, 61, 62s, and this golf course can be a little tricky, but also gives you fair opportunities to score. Yes, absolutely. Here's a look at the aerial view of the beautiful particular golf club and the Kaga River, which is, as long as it's, it's dormant, we can uh, relish its beauty because uh, in the past few months, it has been very, very active and uh, took down most of the golf course along with it. Pretty much... Uh, the back half, the range, and the second hole, first hole, even the 12th hole for that matter, was underwater. So, the golfing administration of Panchkula Golf Club and the directors have done a brilliant job to make sure that the golf course is up and running. And uh, not only up and running, it's up in pristine conditions to host a tournament, which has got the best of players coming up and showcasing their talents. So, Great job on the administrative staff to get the course ready. Yes, absolutely. Because from all the viewers who were not uh, with us yesterday and the ones that were that were with us yesterday, you would remember that uh, we had informed you of major water clogging and flooding that had happened on the golf course and the range was lost because of it. And it's commendable the way they've come up with the golf course and set it up. And from what we know, the golf course is actually in pristine condition and the greens are running quite fast as well. They're running at a pace of 9.6 on the stim meter, which is fairly quick. It's a, it's a quick challenge as we watch uh, Om Prakash getting ready for his approach. And what you would see there, uh, the reason they're allowed to mark their golf balls are this week we are playing uh, 
lift clean place just as a precaution even though the golf course has been set up quite wonderfully for them this i guess it's more of a lift clean places available because of the new conditions which settling in the north asian region of our country but unfair for the players if they do not get the ball which is in perfect shape which means it's dry and it's got no mud on it om prakash hitting a very good wedge shot pin high left hand side will have a very good close look at birdie way to get his uh, round started here yes, the flag seems to be tucked to the right side a little with the with that little slope to contend with makes it a little bit more difficult to gauge the distance and get the get the length right especially beginning your round but he's given himself a good opportunity a good look at birdie and won't he want to start that way kapil now carefully setting up for his approach on number 1 Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. And we say just bringing it over the slope. That's a perfect start. One would imagine leaving himself a little under the hole with an uphill swipe at that body. Yeah. Right, good start for the boys, Aditya. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, both Kapil and uh, Prakash have peppered the flag stick, and Angad after that prolific drive, which he's already hit, I'm sure will also manage to, if not nearly putting it in given region. uh keep it sticking it really close yes yeah, he looks eager he's got those steely eyes going he's only looking at the flag we're trying out a little bit extra than you would have uh, anticipated i guess uh, a semi hard bounce Yes, maybe he uh, didn't to... play with his chip or uh, with his driving and uh, putting chipping seems to be a thing which has been looming as a wondrous thing for him uh, i'm sure he would have worked hard on the off season and got it going but that is a pattern with the better ball strikers as well you tend to not miss a lot of greens so you tend to not uh, worry about shot game too much but we saw angad we watched him yesterday when we were following him through his round and we saw he made a few long ones on the greens he had a good uh, read and a good time on the putting green at Um, yes, yesterday. absolutely. He's a very, very dedicated man towards his profession. I remember uh, back in the day when even I used to practice in the same vicinity where he was. He used to finish his school, come in his school uh, attire on a cycle, and be ready to go with a few sandwiches and cold coffees to start playing his round and getting into practice mode. So that's the level of dedication and determination you need from early on ages. Imagine finishing up school and running up straight to the golf course and being up and ready to play practice. Do I agree with you? I think sandwiches and cold coffee usually seem to be the breakfast of most champions in the PGTI. I think uh, a, a token of appreciation for players like Abhishek Kohar, who would probably know the best cold coffees all around the country. Yeah, that's up for debate. Abhishek Kumar might know the best cold coffees, but uh, his uh, close friend Uncle Chanda would have an idea which place to wine and dine, because he's very good with picking up restaurants with absolutely A one quality food. Here's a look at the Pro Tracer technology, which is a perfect use of technology, giving you a very clear and absolute look at how the ball flies by which different players have been projected. Well, it's a good look also because this view from the tee is very interesting because you didn't get to see how different players approach a particular shot with them teeing it up on different sides of the tee and different ball flights, making it for a more interesting viewing as we watch Arjun Prasad warming up. He still is playing the conservative way. He's taken an iron out. Arjun Prasad uh, hailing from Delhi and uh, mostly practicing in Gurgaon nowadays, but in and around there he's. He's also looking to have a solid uh, start, maybe. Yes, absolutely. Arjun Prasad is one of those diligent young guys who leave no stone unturned, and he's had a few very good outings. Uh, he's finished second in Kolkata, uh, losing greens last year, and has had some very good finishes. So, matter of time, and he also gets his breakthrough wins as all these youngsters are putting in. the long strides to which are required not only on the golf course but outside the golf course 
Yes, as he picks up and we saw the he's taking a more conservative route. He's he's just behind that slope that we saw Om Prakash and Kapil Kumati are from. And now we have Karan Pratap Singh, um, a very dear friend of Aditya. They both practice together, uh, indeed. And the young lad from Aravli Golf Club, Faridabad, has one win under his belt and it came in the Tri-City. So this seems to be a good place for him as he's also starting the round closer to the leaders. Yes, absolutely. Uh, had a bit of a varied round three for himself. Karan, but I'm sure he'll make quick amends of that. Yes, a disappointing finish yesterday with that. Yeah, that, dou part. that double bogey on the last hole was a bit of a biter for him. Uh, not a very comfortable position, especially if you double bogey the last hole of any run. He'll be looking to mount up his charge, getting on his way. Yes, yeah. and that was a half swing. A club getting off the handle there, but he managed to find the fairway. Now we look at Karthik Sharma, third member of this group. And a second left-handed golfer in the in and around the lead this week. As he's, Karthik is one of those more deliberate golfers he carefully sets up make sure he's got everything in he's got his checklist that he takes before every shot yes absolutely you have seen him be very very meticulous about every department of the game and this group comprising of all the young boys but uh, a little less aggressive approach than what we saw from the group previously it's absolutely the flag today is put placed in a position where actually uh a more aggressive route might be a better option, but uh, the wet shots, both from uh, Umprakash and Kapil, suggested otherwise. Yes, but then we also saw that uh, Angad was the closest on the green, but he had the longest birdie putt, so maybe going the conservative way isn't a bad idea after all. Yes, absolutely. It's always better to play to your strengths and uh, come with, with Angad's length and the aggressive way which he likes to play and yes it's a smarter option for him to go on that route yes as we present the haryana open 2023 to you by wonder cement you can watch the live coverage from the comforts of your home but we'd also highly encourage all of you who are there in the tri-city area to go watch the boys play live and anybody who's a golf or sporting fan would enjoy the skills that the, uh, all the professionals on this tour have to offer. And some big names are lurking around the leaderboard. And even in the middle of the pack, we have some big names, some recent winners. We have players like Aman Raj and Adil Bedi and Sattar Talwar. Um, winners are going to be winners soon on tour. So it's very exciting. makes a very interesting Saturday up ahead of ourselves. It's absolutely the Haryana Open 2023 is powered by Wonder Simmons and Tata Hitachi. Big brands making their ways up to the top of their various industries. And uh, an early shout out for all of them to come aboard and join ventures to join hands with the Professional World Tour of India. Gives the members, gives the people who are avid golfers on the city. An absolute delightful week to watch professional golf, how how it's played, what's the nitty gritty is about it, and what's some stellar golf in the back of their home. We watch Anga taking a swipe on number two, the par three that a lot of he comes up a little short, maybe maybe didn't get the strike right, or maybe just under clubbed. The flag seems to be around the front of the green, and usually that can be very tricky. Especially to get close. Yeah, this is one of those holes which was pretty much submerged underwater, six feet of water. And uh, getting the post ready after that is a prolific job. I guess based out of that, the tees have been moved a little front. And a hole which used to be nearing about 200 yards is somewhat played to a newer, a relatively new tee from 150 yards as OP takes full bash at the golf ball. And let's see where it ends up. And a brilliant shot. He's placed it like a soft feather gliding onto 
a gluey surface. Yes, and uh, Om Prakash looks like Om Prakash showing everybody why he's on the top of the order of merit, and there's a reason for it with shots like that and the scoring that he's done through the year. Uh, but yesterday also we saw when you're watching this hole that players managed to hit it fairly close, give themselves a good look at birdies, but a lot of people could not actually make a lot of plus putts. The lines and the green reading was confusing on this particular hole. As you watch Kapil Kumar, he would love to follow suit with Om Prakash. <laughs> When he does that, as, as he did on the first hole, he's also left himself a little under the hole with an uphill birdie look. Yeah. Not as close as Om Prakash, but a fair shot, shot at birdie for sure. Absolutely. Both uh, Om Prakash and Kapil have come out guns blazing as they peppered both on hole number one and hole number two. Both have peppered the flagstick with realistic looks at birdie parts. And uh, as the week has progressed, the green speeds have also been jumping around, I guess. Uh, that could be a reason why players are finding it a little bit tricky to hold a few parts. As, as the green speed for round 4 is 9.6, which is massive. Yeah, it's a little difficult to understand uh, how... They managed to get the golf course in such good conditions after the weather we had over here. And uh, Karan Pratap after that uh, fairway hit on the first, approaching his second shot. You got to careful, Arjun Prasad. From the setup, it looks like he's trying to knock the ball flight a little down and uh, flight it right next to the flagstick. And that would make sense. But he might want a bigger bounce on the first to get it just over the slope and spin it right before the fly. Let's see what he does. Oh, he flies it all the way. Not only does it fly it all the way, he would just spin it a fraction bit behind, more towards the close of the hole, and we'll have a very, very short birdie putt coming up. That would be a good way to redeem himself as you watch the pro tracers for this very group who are making their way onto the first green. You watch uh, everybody on the second now. The group's made its way. Anger there uh, utilizing the lift, clean, and place, or how we'd like to say, preferred lie. And he's under the hole. He's got an uphill chip. You think uh, he would fancy uh, making this? It's absolutely uh, after that, uh, somewhat of a miscue of the D. Uh, he's actually left himself in a bit of a comfortable spot to. If not hold it, but at least make his par, par, par save very, very simple. Over on his uh, chip shot in the first. Yes, and uh, here's the look of it on your screen where you see two handsome looking men giving you beautiful commentary about what's happening. This is I am Shalu Walia, my co host, and I am Aditya. We will be guiding you through the day's play and uh, pretty much the commencement of how this tournament transpires and who pips out whom with the trophy of the Haryana Open 2023 powered by Wanda Cements. Yes, and if you're joining us, we were there with you yesterday and we will be there with you today as well all throughout the day as you watch Angad uh, uh, with a fairly easy tap in there. So he should be content with that up and down moving on to the third which gives him uh, third is usually a Good opportunity for birdie for a lot of these guys. Yes, absolutely. Uh, most interesting to see how Prakash bounces back after a slightly off day in terms of how his partner had been. I think player of his level and caliber would uh, dust it off and move on to the next day. 
as we take a look at uh, the local star multiple winner on tour yuvraj singh sandhu who at a point in time yesterday briefly held the lead and he definitely is not taking the safer route on number 1 he's going with the driver but with yuvraj you would not expect him to be playing uh, conservatively at all uh, on any day yes and he's hit a wonderful tee shot on the opening hole <laughs> I'm driving on to the green, so that's a baffle hit. Something which you are very familiar with. Long hitting and uh, straight as a whistle. Yes, uh, uh, probably a few would for me on that hole to the green. But since I am here, we'll we'll talk about the players who are doing it out there on the golf course. As we watch Sachin Bisoya not going the aggressive way, he's playing and he's taking an iron off the tee, a measured swing. Carefully watching it, but I think he seems content with where he's hit the ball. He's a little left of the fairway, left side of the rough, but that might work in his favor. Might give him a good angle. As from this side, we can see that a lot of spectators are already there early in the morning watching these guys yeah, tee off. Sachin Basu has pretty much nailed it exactly where he was yesterday, and now Abhinav Lohan, who hails from Kolkata. Uh, Gram- has two wins under his belt and uh, is also taken the more complacent way around his first tee shot and rightly so because he has got some very very good game in and around 100 yards so using and sticking to things which are your fortitude is a very smart way to go about yes nabana if you remember was one of the leaders along with Jairad Singh Sandhu starting the third round and he finds himself three shots adrift of the current leader so he has some grounds to catch up but three shots 18 holes to go you never know he would 100% fancy himself to be hosting the trophy by the end of this round We move back to hole number one, where we have a very young group of uh, Karan, Arjun, and Karthik. And if you remember, Karan hit his approach just over the flag here to a very makeable birdie part. He carefully reads this green and makes sure he has his lines and uh, speed right. He'd like to start off with a birdie given how he finished yesterday. Yes, that is good. Big punch in the uh, right direction. Good way to start training your round in the correct direction. Uh, that ball didn't break at all from what he would have thought. Yes, yeah, so a disappointing miss on the first. That would have uh, definitely made him feel like he's gained the momentum back, but. As long as you can trust your striking, the putts will eventually fall. So if he continues to hit the ball as well as he was doing yesterday and today, as he's we've seen on the first, yeah, he started off with a peppering approach shot over the flagstick, and uh, that's pretty much what he was doing yesterday. Also, uh, misfortune on the 18th hole is, I guess, something behind him. Very quickly, he'll be up and running, and. Uh, Showcase why he is being at the top of the money earning list for 2023. Yes, and from our visuals before we watched, Karan is uh, third on the order of merit currently, and he has a very fair shot of surpassing Aman Raj and catching up to Om Prakash Chauhan because there are a few events left still. And he would uh, 100% fancy himself uh, this week and also next week where his sole win came, the Chandigarh Golf Club. So interesting times ahead for Karan as we watch Karthik deliberately going through his motions and making that part. Yeah, Karthik gave it a little extra attention because uh, some of these parts are a little, little tricky and uh, they need that extra time and elongated effort to make sure that there is no
as uh, this remix is made to the number two. We watched the golf ball just before the green. And uh, who other than Yuvraj to have done it? Hitting a driver of the first, almost driving the green, giving himself a great opportunity. And knowing him, he'd probably give himself a good opportunity to uh, make that and start off with an eagle. Yes, absolutely. Yuvraj has been putting himself up on uh, not only the professional golf tour of India, but uh, at the Asian Development Tour, where he leads the order of merit and has pretty much sealed his playing privileges for 2024. So, good job uh, by the young man, showing that uh, most of these players are good enough to contend and uh, lead public win on any tour they choose. And here's a look at Lohan's approach shot coming in. He's giving it a bit of a stare. I guess he's nailed it right next to the flagstick. Yeah, he looked like his look was uh, of him holding the pause to see how good of a shot he hit. As we will now see Sachin, the left side. How you watch this group? Being off with their pro tracers on number one. Yeah, the first hole is uh, not a very lengthy hole, but yes, you have to drive it on a very narrow margin, especially if you take on to the longer stick the driver you need to be very very careful as there is water lurking on the right hand side of this front half of the green so it's a bit of a very risky but yes a rewarding tee shot if you pull it off since that one seems to be moving on from the second shot he's hit i uh, will shortly take a look at uh, where all of them ended up while we watch currenting off on number two And Karan following suit with uh, Angad Chima, who played this whole uh, group Kar before them. Karan actually that one slow, false slow pitch throws the ball away from the green. I won't be surprised if that ball ended up in the front half of that bunker garden. Yes, and as we discussed, front flags can be tricky, which is why the tee shots by Om Prakash and Kapil Kumar were all the more impressive. Yes, they had a time to the exact right number. And that stare from seeing what's happening in the background by Arjun Prasad only suggests that he is a little perturbed by how the wind is behaving. It's a very big factor for professional golfers to be able to gauge the surroundings because they are also a big factor on how their ball balls end up on a desired platform and he's gone and stepped towards the front half of the green but uh, should have a lengthy birdie part but nonetheless a part on this green is always welcome yeah so we have one player missing it short and left and one missing the right distance but a little to the right let's see if karthik can find the middle of the two and maybe tap up the flag here. Okay. I think does indeed hit a better shot a little over the flag but he seems to be on the right tier so he would have a fairly good opportunity for birdie and now we watch uh, Hani Bisoya on number one and no surprises with how he's approaching this hole as he took out a driver yesterday as well. Uh, Hani Bisoya who plays and practices in DLF and Country Club where we will also make our way soon enough for the couple day Grand Thornton event and uh, Hani seems to have missed it to the left a little but it comes out through the trees and he should uh, have a clear shot a good uh not a very long shot to go with and this is our second left-handed golfer after karthik sharma jairaj making the second member of this group which also now means that we are teeing off with the leader group he's taking the more conservative approach with an iron jairaj also one of those players who started off as one of the leaders yesterday with Abhinav Lohan and he finds himself closer to the leaders than anybody else in the field. He's two shots behind Akshar Sharma as he takes a 
wonderful swipe on number one and hits the fairway. That should calm the nerves down for uh, most golfers, hitting finding the first fairway. As we watch some very interested onlookers, now we watch the local boy, Akshay Sharma. Exciting times for him. He's been knocking on the door consistently, especially the second half of the season, not finding himself outside the top three, top five, any event. He starts off the round as the leader of this tournament, carefully looking at that swing. We have a little difficulty figuring out where he hit, but uh, he's moving off the tee, should be should be okay. And uh, he starts off his round at 15 under par. तुम जब बड़े हो गए सो हो गए पर अभी तुम्हारे पापा देश बना रहे और मैं ही नहीं वो सब जिन्होंने मशीने बनाई जिन्होंने मशीने बेची वो सब हम सब कर्तव्य निभा रहे कल तुम भी निभाओगे जैसी सोच वैसा देश और जब सोच कर्तव्य बनती है तो देश बनता भी है और बढ़ता भी है आओ कर्तव्य निभाए चलो देश बनाए टाटा हिटाची चलो देश बनाए वॉच दीज बॉयज गेटिंग रेडी फॉर देर शॉर्ट्स क्विक अपडेट ऑन वन ऑफ द लोकल बॉयज द लॉन्ग हिटर Abhijit Singh Chadda, while multiple winner on tour, he's had a strong start as well. He is two under par through the first three and at nine under par currently. So he's also one of those exciting players to watch out for. We now watch uh, Kapil Kumar setting up for his part, and Arjun Prasad on our feed one setting up for his longish birdie attempt on number two. And Kapil Kumar quite disappointed with that stroke. And Arjun, uh, the speed was right. I think he just underread it a bit. That broke more than he probably thought it would. I'm going to give him that part a uh, careful look and a uh, bit of a downhill should move a little left to right from him. This is one of those holes which on a downhill can be a little fast and get quickly away from you. Wow, that moved the other way. Yes, I think Angad himself was perplexed by that uh, green read and Karthik on the left with his birdie attempt came up a little short, but seems like a tap and range, but he's going to take his time and do his due diligence before he makes his par. And uh, Angad not willing to believe that he missed that part on the low side there. If you remember yesterday on the same hole, he made a long part for birdie. Uh, but today, today it seems uh, we'll have to make birdies uh, on the other holes. Kapil now carefully wrapping up his par part on number three. He's got a bit of a texture as a, that's a sizable length for a par part left on a relatively short hole. Makes no fault in that and quick march towards the next team, which is the longest path we awaiting the players on hole number four. As Arjun also misses out on his par attempt, yeah, this group seems to be uh, struggling a little with the flat stick, but Karan, after that beautiful chip shot, you almost ended up pulling, looked good. Till it crossed the hole, he'd want to make a confident stroke, move on to the next, give himself a 
comfortable look at uh, hopefully a birdie. Yeah, he would have got a definite look not only from the rundown chip of his own, but uh, also from what Arjun Prasad just showcased, and he's made it look very, very simple. Cleaning up for his power, big strides towards hole number three, and here is Karthik Sharma with his famous hand uh, gestures where he tries to see how the ball is going to release off on the putting surface. Now we watch Karthik Sharma clearing up there. Uh, we have a quick score update as well. Uh, Abhinav Lohan and Sachin Biswas seem to have started with a solid part, but Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, as we watched him take an aggressive swipe with the driver, almost hitting the green on number one, has made a birdie. So the aggressive play did pan out well for him as we watch these boys, the leader group, with their pro tracers on number one. Yes, the, uh, the viewers who are joining us, we would like to give them a quick update that uh, this is the live coverage of the final round for the Haryana Open 2023, powered by Wonder Simmons. And uh, all the derby horses are up and running as the leaders have also teed off of the first hole and are making long strides towards the first green. So the show is on the road and... Uh, we would encourage you to get out of the comfort of your homes and enjoy the bright sunny morning which will give you a good look at what is happening in terms of professional golf being played in your home turf. So get up and get out and enjoy the scenic views and uh, stellar golf being presented to you by these youngsters and uh, leading athletes of the sport. That's a peppering ball flight on right all over the flagstick by Yuvarat Sandhu. Yuvarat seems to be dialed in from the word go. Yes, and you know, with given his popularity and him being a local boy, I'm sure there'll be some hefty crowds coming and watching him play golf. Yuvarat seems to be on a mission today. He's, I think he's got a target set in his mind. I think he has a number that he thinks he needs to get to and he'd want nothing to stop him from that. It is always good for not only a professional athlete, but in general, the meaning of life to have targets and try to take big strides towards them. As we see, Sachin Basoya taking dead aim towards the flagstick. And as he pulls the trigger, let's see where this ball finds him. He is pretty much in Om Prakash territory. Yeah, Sachin just says, you know what, you might be the local star, you might be a multiple winner on tour, but what you can do, I will do better, at least on this occasion. And Abhinav also would want to follow suit and give himself a good look at Birdie on this hole. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's a beautiful tee shot by him on the three second hole. <laughs> As Mohan pulls off the trigger and uh, wow, that must have looked so good in the air, narrowly evading the hole. Pretty much skipped, bumped and hopped into the hole and around. Beautiful tee shots by all three. Yes, it almost looks like Abhinav said, you know what, uh, with the strokes that you made, just making a birdie is not enough for me. I'm going to go make a hole in one or at least try to do that. But uh, th that group... Definitely hitting on the better shot, T shots we have seen. Is it that a bunch of youngsters trying to watch some exciting golf being played on the golf course and uh, a little bit of crowd gathering on uh, the A little bit of crowd gathering on the front half of the golf course where the leaders are making their way onto the. Yes, and uh, as that could have possibly been Anibasoya's second shot. 
No, honey, actually, he had a driver missed it to the left a little, but he had a clear chip. I think he would be disappointed with the second shot that he overran and uh, got down through that slope. Yes, it would be interesting to watch uh, Honey play as he was all guns blazing yesterday. Had a bit of a misfortune on the last hole where he three parted. But uh, in other than that, a 600 bar yesterday has put himself in the driver's seat and he finds himself on the leaderboard and the last group to tee off of the course. Always a better idea to see what's transpiring right in front of him. Yes, because Honey was one of the players yesterday who took the lead and he grabbed it for quite a while before uh, making that error on number 18 and then Akshay Sharma finishing with a flourish of birdies. And here we watch Akshay Sharma, the man to catch this week as he takes his stroke on number one. Leaves it a little short, but should not be a problem for him to tap it in. Move on to the second. Yes, uh, the long birdie attempt comes up a little bit short for Akshay, but uh, no concerns as he's pretty much a foot or two away from the whole stick. Uh, sorry, the whole hand has left himself up in part. Only interesting to see how. Jairaj gets about his round going because amongst all the people in the top 10, it's only Jairaj Singh Sandhu and Karthik Sharma who are not already winners. Rest all of these boys have a few titles, if not more, under their belts and narrowly awaits the whole that golf ball. Pretty much ended up behind the hole, so he had this break, right? But I guess his speed was a little bit too strong. Yeah, maybe a little adrenaline or uh, that just could be the aggressive approach. Maybe he just wants to catch on to the leader in the first couple itself. But Jairaj there seems to have been the only player in this group to have hit the um, approach on the right tier. On the first, and here we watch him still with his honor. A little tricky, but should not be a problem for him. And he manages very fairly moving on to the second, as we now watch Abhinav taking aim for his birdie on number two after that brilliant tee shot. Abhinav had a good run on the greens yesterday, but uh, disappointed there. Yeah, the ball, ball it short. The ball absolutely absolutely the And Akshay, after cleaning up for par on the first hole, would be a good test for Akshay because he's been on the charge for a few weeks now, and he's always constantly either threatening the leaders or uh, having the lead by himself, but he's not been able to finish and close out an event as we watch Honey also making his par on number one. Yes, the second half has been uh, all about Akshay Sharma as he's been contenting almost every week and uh, the way he has set himself up for this week, it's a uh, Realistic possibility for the shackles to be broken once again and he could strike towards his victory number three. Yes, and you never know because a couple of birdies from him in the beginning of his round and uh, we could very well have the pack chasing him by quite a few strokes. He could open up a gap quite nicely here. Let's see what Yuvrat Singh Sandhu has got a read from Abhinav Mohan's part. He's but definitely not leaving it short and he rams it right in the middle of the hole and that's a birdie birdie start for Yuvraj. I won't say I'm surprised at all given the quality and given the form that he's been yes, displaying. Absolutely. He has not only established himself as a multiple winner but uh, he's got that mindset of taking down pretty much any number which he sets himself up to and that's Trending in the correct way with the back to back birdies on the first two holes. So that would put him up to 12 under par. Yes, and now Sachin would want the same because yesterday he had an on and off day with the putter himself, but he has the best tee shot on this hole. And he also 
has left himself short. I think on day four, when you're trying to catch leaders, leaving uh, putts short is almost criminal. Okay. Especially if they're online. Yeah, he would be licking his chops as uh, that ball would have looked very, very poor as it was trapping the hole. Unfortunately, came a bit short. But it can happen as the bean speeds have been getting quicker day by day as the tournament has progressed. So, it's just a matter of time as for these players get the gauge of the running speeds the way. As we come back to uh, the scoring hole number three and Arjun seems to have come up a little short here. Yes, hole number three is a very realistic birdie opportunity as uh, it's a wine-ish fairway and uh, the length of the hole is not that massive. It'll be interesting to see how people ferry this hole. I wouldn't be surprised if it most of the players are picking up the big stick the driver and going about it. And a very good chip shot from Arjun Prasad right next to the home. And the life field too showcases the bashful Hani Basoya. And he has hit the best tee shot of the day. And I would be I won't be surprised if nobody comes closer to him. Yes, only two more guys left to hit their tee shots, and I think it's a very difficult slag to hit that close as well. Uh, our apologies on the first. Uh, an update on score is Akshay Sharma. That was not for his par. That was rather for his bogey. And he's come back a shot towards the field, but he still leads by one at 14 under par from Jairaj. But Akshay Sharma coming back and giving a stroke to the field would make the chasing pack a lot more interested and a lot more uh, hungry for birdies. Yes, absolutely. A bit of a misstep by Akshay on the opening hole. And uh, that opens up a range of players who can uh, try and make the dash towards the title. And as the ball lifts off from Derat Sandhu's clubs, uh, Jairaj himself has hit a very good tee shot, but can't emphasize enough on how good the quality shot which Hari Vasoya has propelled onto the Hole number second, as the location of the flag stick is on a very, very small bound. This is what the second left hander on the screen, Karthik Sharma, under eating that part a little bit. And now we'd have Karan Pratap, uh, or we would assume is for a birdie, and he's he suddenly has his putter go cold uh, with the second half of yesterday. and. Yet, he hasn't uh, made a putt, but let's see if those fortunes change for him. And Akshay Sharma on the second, would would he love to emulate Honey Besoya's tee shot and make a birdie here? He's a good, he's a, he's a good one. The staff flag is tough to get to. Yeah, that was a very solid putt by Karan. Unfortunately, he just could have broken maybe half a ball more and he would he would have found the bottom of the hole. Definitely a correct read by him. Uh, just a matter of time as these parts start dropping. Well, for anybody who's joining in live on what's happening, this is the round four coverage of Haryana Open 2024, powered by Wonder Simmons. As the professional golf tour of India, the tour which brings you endless tournaments back to back every year has found its way towards Panchkula for its 14th event of the season. The sole goal of Professional Golf Tour of India is taking Indian golf on a global level and they are making long strides in that correct direction as uh, the price purses have jumped up in a very big magnitude in the correct direction. And uh, world ranking points available for the players competing week in, week out, giving them even more opportunities to open up different doors. That was a narrow miss by Kapil on hole number four, as you see on the live feed. And Karthik would be cleaning up for his par attempt on hole number three. 
So a bit of testers left for most of the players uh, for their power attempts. Yeah, seems like uh, maybe a few nerves jangling here and there. When it comes to the shorting, maybe sometimes you even try too hard to make a few putts and the long game, short game, they still come a little more easily, but putting is where you are, end up making the birdies in the par and the scoring. So not not surprised to see players still trying to figure the rub of the green. Yes, as uh, his look at the flow, uh, as the early starters of the day, people who have started their round a little bit earlier than the leaders have, and have had some seriously good fortunes in terms of local land, Mr. Harinder Gupta, Ajay Bas, and Ajay Baswe. Both of them have had fast starts to their rounds, but they started on the back nine, so they both are three under for their respective rounds, sitting pretty at five. Also, fast start by Mr. Yashas M. S. Chandra, who's three under par in the stretch of first six holes for him, which has catapulted him onto the tied 10th position. Another <laughs> <laughs> Fruitnik Electro Plus Rehydrate Feel Alive काम घर में कर रहे हो या बाहर या किसी बीमारी से उबर रहे हो आप बिना जाने डिहाइड्रेट हो सकते हैं रोज जरूरत है Fruitnik Electro Plus Rehydrate इसका अनोखा आर थ्री फॉर्मूला इलेक्ट्रोलाइट रिस्टोर करे ग्लाइकोजन रिप्लेनिश करे और मसल्स का तनाव कम करे तुरंत एनर्जी के साथ Fruitnik Electro Plus Rehydrate Three shots on Akshay Sharma, the leader, as he made a bogey on number one and seems to have missed his birdie attempt on number two. So the best he could do on that hole would be a par. And Jairaj. Yes, the south pro, south pop from uh, the Tri-City, Jairaj Singh Sandhu. After that, very good tee shot would look to make a pass start and trend in the right direction himself as he's trying to claw towards his first maiden title and that beautiful putt will definitely help. Yes, and we watched him yesterday make a long one here as well. So then, so hole number two has been treating him well. And honey, with that wonderful approach. Uh, so you assume he'd want to make this for sure. You, you, you'd want him to make this. This is probably the best tee shot hit on this hole today. Absolutely, and it's good to see him up and about as he has just been recovering from a very bad uh, viral fever, which he's been pretty much bed rested all week, which was last week in itself. He was even contemplating coming out to come play. So, which just goes to showcase how talented this young man is. Oh, that's a disappointing miss for him. Well, it's pretty much a similar stroke which he put on hole number 18 where the ball eluded the hole. Didn't look anything off with the stroke, but a bit more of a real issue than anything else. Yes, now Akshay taking his time. He's he's not uh, left himself what happened. Indeed, he's got a three or uh, maybe even a four footer left. And he would not want to miss this because this would 100% damage the momentum that you carried on from yesterday and especially making a bogey on number one you'd want to study the ship and you can make a par and then see what you can do on number three yeah very uh good stroke coming on towards his first part and uh sends that ball where it needs to be at the bottom of the hole and uh Yes, a bit of a shaky start for him on the very first hole with the bogey. But nonetheless, he's made amends by not faltering furthermore and uh, making a soft par on his very next hole. Honey cleaning up his par attempt and we would assume that it'd be a disappointing par putt in that uh, two-footer had a little break. Yes, absolutely. Tournaments such as the Haryana Open 2023 are being telecasted on your screen on various platforms. 
And all of this could not have been possible without the big guns in terms of the sponsors, which make it possible. And a big shout out to all those big brands who've been there year in, year out, partnering with the professional golf tour of India and making it a possibility for young players to make it a career choice and a livelihood in terms of Tata Steel, Vedika Himalayan Spring Water, Fruitnik Electro Plus, Rolex, Golf Plus, Athletic Drive, and Golf Design. Now, here is a look at the man who's all charged up, Yuvarat Singh Sandhu, eyeing it up like a hawk. <laughs> Well, I'm sure he's not thinking uh, anything but holding this one. <laughs> Evident by how far he's actually hit it over the flag. Now he'd, he'd, he he's going to have a tester back. Now that uh, slowish walk towards his uh, chips would suggest that that ball ball bounced up a little bit too much than you would have anticipated yes and that and with jairaj making that birdie he now moves into the lead so a very quick change on the leaderboard now akshar sharma finds himself tied with Jairaj just after two holes when he saw when he started the round we saw that Akshay had a two-stroke lead and that's diminished now and he's being uh, closely followed by Yuvraj who's two under for the day through two so some very good strong players some birdie making machines after our leaders on day four here Yes, both the Sandhus are firing up on pretty much all cylinders and a bit of a flutter by our overnight leader, Akshay Sharma, has uh, raised hope for many people who are in the chasing pack. A beautiful and semi-long distance part hold by Jairaj makes, his, makes him find himself at the top of the helm as he's tied with Akshay Sharma at 14 under par. Arjun Prasad coming up with a decent chip on the, the daunting number four. Yes, hole number four is a beast of a par four at somewhat uh, at the length of 220 odd yards. I remember this hole being severely punishing. As not only the length of the hole is massive, but it has a very troubling left and right side locations in terms of trees on the right hand side a bunker guarding the green and water lurking very very close to the front half front left side of the screen Karthik Sharma overboarding there and uh, leaving it a little short but should be a tapping for him this could be for a birdie we'll be, be sure soon for Yuvraj but he seems to have uh, that, that is going to be a disappointing miss for him because uh I think there is a penalty to pay for the over aggressive play that he went with on that chip. But that's the kind of player he is. He likes to always try and flat flatter with the flag and sometimes fortune do not favor the brave as we just saw, but uh, more often than not, it gives you better and ample opportunities as Karan Pratap would look to clean up for his what I would presume would be his par attempt but uh, we'll soon come to know and meanwhile we have a little inter international flavor added to the leaderboard with Badal Hussain from Bangladesh uh, having a good round at 3 under par for today he's at 8 under par and he's rounding off the top 10 along with uh, a bunch of golfers so the leaderboard is packed from the top to the middle and to the back that nobody is letting out on day four here. Watch Avinav who's, who's been waiting his turn for a while on this hole number three and we resume that that is for his birdie under the hole. It's a good look for him given how his 
putting is he'll have eyes for the bottom of the hole and nothing else and he's burnt the edge on this occasion a stark difference in what the putter is doing for him on day four compared to day three then Yes, absolutely. Uh, the Haryana Open 2023, powered by Wonder Simmons, is the 14th event on the 2023 Tata Steel PGTI Tata Steel season. And uh, this tournament returns back on the calendar after a stretch of uh, 12 years. This was last staged in 2011. All the previous editions of Haryana Open have also been staged on this very venue, the Panchkala Golf Course. And uh, the fifth edition has seen a surge in jump in terms of prize money. As the last time it was played around, it was a, a 50 lakh event. And now with a doubled amount of prize purse, this is the biggest event Panchkula of course has hosted in terms of monetary values and uh, one CR is the pedestal set by Haryana Panchkula Open. The golf course is a 72 hole stretch where the players have pretty much done and dusted with most of their tournament and we are live on your screens for round four which is commenced and is underway. It's a very prestigious and uh, event indeed with some history as well. As we watch Karthik Sharma going through his deliberate uh, routine, and we'd assume that's for a par. And a three or number four is never a bad score. Then he does so comfortably. And now also going to clean up for his uh, little tap-in. So he narrowly missed his part on number four. And while we watch current tapping in, Yuvraj uh, indeed was for a par there. So he's made a bogey on number three. A slight hiccup for him after the birdie birdie start as he finds himself on the tee box on number four. Now, first look at number three from the fairway. Honey seems to have missed it to the left. And uh, in the rough, he'd have to manufacture some shot from there. Uh, he's taking the high road. He's going over the trees. And it'd be interesting to see how he fares. All three players uh, making their way towards the green, but nobody seems to be close to the flag. Oh, there is one golf ball. We're not sure who it is. Yes, both Akshay and Jarad seem to have come up a bit short with their report shots. Honey making a good effort of the second from where he was. He uh, was in a bit of bother in that spot, but uh, he seems to have made amends and found the party surface. But this tournament had a field of 126 players, which had, which means there were 123 professionals and three amateurs who started off the tournament. And a quick update on the top five for round four. Akshay Sharma and Jairat Sandhu are tied first at 14 under par. In close pursuit is Abhinav Lohan and Hani Goswaya. Both are tied at third position at 12 under par. And at 11 under par, tied fifth is Sachin Goswaya. Not a very confident start for Akshay, but he still finds himself 
in the lead along with Jairaj. And it's a similar spot to where Yuvraj was and Jairaj would want to make a better fist of he did and he definitely has shown a much better shot there than we watched previously almost holding it and Gerard seems to be having uh, no nerves at all that given these situations are fairly new for him okay, Gerard's chip would have looked so nice all the way out because uh, it narrowly evaded the hole it was a very good attempt from uh, from the lower left half of the green and uh, that's how most of the professionals have trained themselves to make sure that these chip parts look relatively simple. Trust me, there's nothing simple about them, but uh, it's the work ethic and the quality of these players which make it look that simple. Sharma now going for his. He's left it. Uh, he's left it. He's left a longer part than he would have preferred, and he clearly not moving from the spot. Disappointed, taking a couple of more practice swings. Yeah, sometimes it does happen that uh, some even the slightest amount of blade of grass which comes in between the ball and the club head can derail the speed which you want the ball to come out with. That seems to be the case with Akshay as he's left him sizably short for his par attempt. Very unlike, he's got some really good short game uh, feel and uh, as we had seen yesterday, he made most of his uh, power attempts and birdie attempts from around the green look very, very simple. You would have, I'd have to attribute it to the nerves uh, in the final round. And we have seen Akshay succumbing to them a few times this season. But still early days in the day, you never know what is going to transpire through the day. As we watch Honey, the only member of this group to have found the putting surface in two and he's got a lengthy birdie attempt but nothing that he hasn't made before yes he's hit some very good uh tee shots on whole number uh, sorry uh approach shots on the whole number two and uh relatively decent on number one he would be looking to find one of those in the bottom of the hole just like that so that gets the young man up and running this now, Honey would find himself in solo third position at 13 under as we have the score update for you. Yes, uh, for the fifth edition of the Rihanna Open, we had some leading professionals take part in this tournament. In the big names are as Om Prakash Johan and international winners in terms of Rashid Khan, Rahil Genji. Kalin Joshi, Miraj Madapa, and Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, Tri City local lads. That's a very good par save by Akshay, as uh, he would like to move towards and ahead of the chasing pack and get once again a bit of a lead and a cushion going for himself. Yes, the fifth edition of the Haryana Open 2023 also saw. Some very big names in terms of uh, Olympian Udyan Mane and uh, Aman Raj, Hakim Bisoya, a few professionals who found themselves on various different tours trying to compete on for the coveted trophy of the fifth edition of the Haryana Open 2023. This was, this, the defending champion for this event is uh, Mr. Mithun. Pereira, the jovial Mithun Pereira, limelight and starlight of his uh, country, Sri Lanka. He won this tournament in 2001 and uh, is the defending champion. Also, he's the one who set up the target of the lowest winning title. Sorry, the lowest winning number for this title. Yes, at 18 under power, which we predicted, we might see broken this week. Yes, and it's good to see family and friends supporting uh, their relative players and their selective favorite players as we just had a close look at uh, Mr. Sandhu Senior, Mr. Sandhu, who was father accompanying and cheering up his son. Good job enough tackling the whole uh, number four for a little short and right. And we watch Sachin, who's 
missed it to the left and hit it a little over the green. He would have been, his heart would have been in the mouth watching that shoot, tee shot sail towards the water. But And what's interesting is I want to know what's happening with Sachin Ball because uh, he seems to be in the clear. But what were they looking for? The referee for some kind of a ruling? Maybe he found the drink? Maybe they were just trying to determine whether he's still in the closely money can utilize the preferred lab. It seems like he has to play it from where he ended up. So suggesting he was maybe in the rough and he seems to have done a decent job of it. Yeah, he's left himself underneath the uh, uh, the black stick and uh, would have a simplistic power attempt coming up for himself. Yuvraj now the only player with the putter out before his playing partners would suggest that he found the green on this ball, which is no easy feat of itself. It's a daunting par 3. It plays uh, over 250 yards and add a little wind into it. He usually plays a little headwind, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, generally plays a bit of wind, but playing conditions look a little bit... Uh... Dormant in terms of wind. Can't see the flagstick or the leaves fluffy in the background. Yes, and if indeed uh, Yuvraj found the green with his t shirt, wouldn't he love to make this part and get the shot back that he lost on uh, the easier number three? It's absolutely a whole number four, a long part four. Part three posts all the challenges of difficulty that it can bring about with uh, sand traps, tremendous length and water lurking on left half of the green. So all in all, a very treacherous hole. Maneuvering it at level par for four rounds is a very good score by anybody. As that golf ball narrowly misses out as gestured by the player that it broke a little bit extra than you would have anticipated. Well, though, at the beginning of the round uh, of the tournament, we had 123 professionals teeing it up with three amateurs and had a big bag of foreign international players coming in and contending for the tournament. The Sri Lankan contingent was led by Mr. Mithun Pereira and uh, N. Thanda Raja, coupled with uh, K. Prabhakaran, all three Sri Lankans. Uh, and the Bangladesh contingent was lent by Jamal Hussein, Badal Hussein, and Akbar. And the sole American in the field was is uh, Varun Chopra still, and Nepal's Sukra Bahadur Rai. And the youngest player in this field is a Canadian Sukrat Singh Gill. Not to leave out Endora's Kevin Steve Regal. So, very big bag of international players making themselves uh, available for this tournament and uh, contending for the tournament. Out of which, I, I think uh, Thanga. And Prava have missed cut, but rest are still in the chasing pack. And uh, it would be interesting to see who pips each other out for the top of the title, as not anything different has changed in the leaderboard other than Akshay Sharma dropping a shot and Jairaj picking Jairaj and Hani Basoya respectively picking up one one shot each. There's another look at Kapil as his, he would be wanting for his partner to blow up hot and make a few putts. A bit of a struggle he's had with the putter, as you can see over here also. The ball somehow managed to miss out one way home. Okay, so as you watch, I've been off cleaning off his attempt for par number four. Usually, uh, it, it, by the looks of it, usually these four footers don't see much, but they can be very tricky.
Let me watch. Angad also having a tricky one left for himself. This would realistically his body part as part five. Straight pole is definitely reachable for somewhat with Angad left. He seems to have powered it to the break. Sangha clearly indicating that they got the break wrong there. Yeah, few thoughts being expressed and exchanged between the caddy and the player. Maybe the line was a little more than they, what they were expecting it out to be. Can watch you, Raj's part. Narrowly missing out on number four. It would have been a great birdie for him. He would have picked up a shot and a half, given how difficult uh, number four is. But the rest of the players in this playing group also making pars. Do you take a few highlight reads from what's transpired in the day? Yeah. As we have a look at some of the highlights from early round four, it's always good to see how the players are going about their business, what routines they follow, and uh, how they attempt to stay calm before the storm is being presented in front of them, and uh, how they steer their ship in and around the adverse waters. And words of wisdom being exchanged between Fox and Sun. Definitely some word of advice being given by the big guy to his son as to how would he want him to ferry in his 
Round four. Very close relation between Yuval and his father. Good to see some encouragement by family members coming along as Akshay further seems to be in a very tricky spot on whole number four. Yes, uh, lucky are those who get that encouragement in their lives as we watch Akshay Sharma in a tricky position. He's, he has a lot of green to work with, but we're not sure what the lie would be. We'll have to see what he manages to do. He definitely is taking a lot of practice swings. So one would imagine it's not the standard run of the mid lie that you would get in a chip shot. Yes, the only thing going for him is that he's got enough brain to work around with. And he seems to have bumped it uh, a little too short. So he'll have a very lengthy part for power. Yeah, I guess a bit of an awkward bounce than he would have liked. But sizable power attempt left. So Akshay in a bit of rough waters early around, early in his round. But uh, as we saw, he stormed back into the lead yesterday towards the latter half of his round. So no surprises there that uh, very strong charge will definitely be mounted by the young man. And uh, here is the local star, Jairaj Sandhu, trying to make his attempt to send the ball home. I'm not sure what attempt this would be, but realistically, with his length and the quality striking he's got, this could be his buddy part. Yes, and Jairaj has got a good uh, read on the green since yesterday. We've seen him play very consistently, although he seems to have made the read a little wrong there, but getting the speed right. Akshay had a slow start yesterday as well, and he was not out of it through the day like he's not out of it here. It's a matter of a few holes and a few nerves coming down before you start playing the way you've been playing all season, and you never know where you find yourself on the leaderboard by the end of the day. Yes, uh, but Jairaj has hit a very good uh, approach part, and uh, if Akshay would to have to fall, falter, Jairaj would find himself sole leader for this tournament. Unless this young man from Gurgaon, Hani Basoya, has other things to say about it, as he himself is at 3 under par, sorry, is at 13 under par, 1 under for the day. Just a short drift at the moment. Wow, that's a tremendous part by Honey. One would assume that uh, that's a buddy part because for someone who strikes it that good and the fist pumps being exchanged by the player at the caddy would suggest that it could be a buddy. So the whole fourth hole could be change of fortune very quick, very fast. Yes, and uh, if that was indeed for his buddy, we'd see a very quick change on the leaderboard as well. We are actually cleaning up for uh, what we would assume is his spa, and he does so comfortably. Akshay still has his spa, but left on the fourth. That would mean that a lot of changes can take place, especially if. Honey made a birdie there. Very important part for Akshay to keep the momentum towards himself and that ball has been spun on 
chasing pack but has also lost the lead for after a long while yes and we'll update you shortly on what the leaderboard is currently looking like as we take a look at the young group of karthik sharma and indeed that putt was for birdie for honey so he has gone birdie on number three and birdie on number four while Akshay has made a bogey on number one, bogey on number four. So that would mean that we have two new leaders on the day, as Akshay Sharma is now in the chasing pack, and Jairaj and Hani Basoya are co-leaders at 14 under bar. Yes, uh, the fast charge by Hani and Jairaj have made them the leaders for the event early days. As the overnight leader has had troubles with his round and has dropped two shots in the first four holes. Very interesting chip coming up for uh, Karthik Sharma. Always something different about the left handed players when you watch them. Feels so surreal and he has hit a very good chip from that spot. He had a realistic body opportunity, that's what I would presume. And uh, on the screen, Karan is still trying to figure out what break is ahead of him and uh, how the ball is going to contour before it makes its way towards the bottom of the hole. Karan is one of those young players who goes about his putting stroke with a slightly non-conventional setup where he holds the entirety of his right hand in forms of a claw and grips the putter. Let's see and hope that it works for him. But a uh, little extra overboard in terms of both speed and uh, direction. Yes, the putter seems to be a little cold running on him as uh, he was in the backdrop. Uh, a little few spectators, and that includes Juvraj's father as well, waiting for the group, watching this group, and eagerly waiting for his son to come on to number five. And uh, a quick score update also. We have local boy. Harinder Gupta having a good day on the greens. Uh, he's at four under par for the day. He started off the back nine. He currently finds himself at minus six for the tournament, tied for 23rd. And now back to the live action where Arjun Prasad. Yes, sir, we would be looking to make a move also in the right direction as he's been in and around uh, the flag stick, but also seems to have overhead the break on this green. Yes, Arjun needs a little catching up on his very score today. He's two over par through the first four, and he'd want to have a high finish this week, make a dent on that order of merit. It's very good to see galleries coming up, especially with family and friends around. Yuvraj's father has been a very big role model for his son, and uh, Yuvraj himself attributes that uh, he's taken up this sport courtesy his the privileges and the mentorship provided by his father. So. Great job on parenting by Hekhandri Sandhu to make sure that his son finds a career choice which he likes and can 
follow up the suit and make it a livelihood for themselves. Arctic Trust Times. Yeah, that's in the world. Most of the no. world to make that part go in. As long as they go in. But yes, you are right. And you can actually, it takes uh, not one person, but an entire family to produce a sportsman. When cleaning up, Karan would love for the flat stick to get a little warmer because he's been striking the ball so consistently through weeks now. Yes, and a quick update on the leaderboards as uh, the newly formulated leaderboard has two different names on top, uh, South Paul, Gerard Singh Sandhu and uh, Flamboyant Power Hitting. I think this way I have found themselves at the top of the leaderboards at 14 and a half. Bit of a blemish by Akshay has dropped two shots in his first four holes. Finds himself at 13 and a par third. And uh, Abhinav Lohan making a bit of a charge for himself at uh, 12 and a par. Yuvraj having a mixed bag with two birdies and a bogey on all number one is the run of his first few holes. Is at 11 and a par. And so is Sachin Vasoya. Both of them are tied fifth, whereas Karan, Pratap Singh, and Karthik Sharma find themselves tied seventh at nine under par, respectively. And uh, in close pursuit, at tied ninth is Badal Hussain from Bangladesh and uh, the international superstar in this field. Rashid Khan is making way towards the top ten. He's broken into the top ten and would be interesting to see how he goes about his business. This wonderful mix of players. On the top of the leaderboard, it's to be fair, it is anybody's game right now because all the names on the leaderboard have the capability to win, and uh, a lot of them have won multiple times on home soil and internationally. So Yes, and uh, somebody who started his round a little early is the local uh, superstar, Mr. Arindra Gupta. He has been galloping around for his back nine and has found himself taking down most of the golf course in the back nine by shooting four birdies on own lumber, 12, 13, 15, and uh, 16th. He's four under par for his round and has got the entirety of back nine to go about. He's sitting pretty at six under par. Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. Vilka Singh Invitational in the Tri-City of Chandigarh, whopping 1.5 CR prize money. Followed suit by IOC Masters 2023 in Dick Boy Assam. 75 lakhs is up for grabs over there. And uh, then the tour finds itself back into Gurugram for the Kapil Dev Grand Thornton Invitational, which is a whopping 2 CR price purse. And then we make our way towards the SSP Invitational, which will be held at Royal Calcutta in Kolkata. Price purse of 1 CR awaits the players over there. And there comes the next to last tournament, which is your Jaipur Open in the beautiful pink city. The price purse for that event is 1 CR. And uh, that will formulate the top 60, the top 60 professionals who not only secure their privileges for the next season, but also get an added bonus to enjoy and solidify their bank balances by playing the biggest, the mother of them all, Tata Steel Tour Championship held at Jamshedpur for a whopping price purse of 3CR. 
So a lot of money, a lot of world ranking points, and a lot of opportunities in different various cities. Check on the local listings and see when these internationally talented young players will be in and around in your city to watch some beautiful golf. Very exciting times ahead indeed for golf. As we take a look at uh, Yuvraj, one of the most exciting golfers currently that India has to offer as he takes a close look at uh, the tiny blades of grass on the screen on the hole number five and see what he can come up with. Carefully measuring his landing spot and the break. As we watch these players live, as the day picks up and the sunrise is stronger, we can also assume that the clouds are going to pour in. And... I think uh, Ivar's dad is carrying a magnet around with him because Ivar just ended up with his approach shot on the long ball five exactly where his dad was driving. Well, it's never a bad idea to follow your father. Or was it a trick? From the bag where he was telling him this is the easiest location to make your chip in for. Uh, one would assume that would be a wise way to go. As you watch up enough with his uh, chip or uh, something like a chip on a pitch. And the distance he hit it from, shouldn't be too disappointed with that. Jivraj now taking his practice swings and he'd want to make a better... Want to put a better roll on it than he did on number three. The only blemish on his scorecard today. It's a very good chip shot from uh, Yuvraj Sandhu. I'm definite that there is some kind of instruct visual instructions coming along to him by his father, but a very, very good measured chip from a difficult spot. You know, a lot of Christians when they play in front of their uh, fathers or uh, parents. Panic. Panic is the choice of word if my... Um, he was... <laughs> I, was I was going to ask you how you would react. Uh... <laughs> It was such a little uphill trip, and yes, uh, okay. the severity of the uphill would actually work for his favor, and he would get a bit of a launch. And wow, that, oh, one, 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 one. that is impressive. He's showing uh, uh, Yuvraj's dad that uh, we also know a few shots here and there, so I'm sure he's enjoying the golf overall. It's good to see these players acknowledging some talented uh, stroke making happening in front of them, not only by themselves, but by their playing partners. Always a good idea to stay in the positive frame of mind and as much as possible, you can actually enjoy and learn a few things from your playing partners as I'm sure Yuvraj would have from that beautiful chip shot which Sachin had just hit because it was a very, very difficult chip shot which he made look very, very simply. Goes to show the talent that the first time winner, the young first time winner he is. Yes, and I, I actually personally had a different reaction to whenever my father sees me play because uh, that would just mean he's he had to watch everything and I won't have to explain what was happening afterwards. And yeah, Saminam so Lohan working a little bit diligently on his putting stroke as uh, he in general is a prolific putter. 
as we saw yesterday from a few long distance putt which he made and not only in a few long distance putts, very crucial par attempts which he sank well. Generally in a very, very good putter. And I, I'm sure he'll make this also. Teams to have not been the line and the, the gap is off and a little bit of TikToking going in the brain as to the wrong read. That would show you how a day makes a difference because yesterday when we were watching Abhinav on the green, he had uh, everything pouring in from everywhere. But today seems like the butter is just cold. He left himself a three footer. It shouldn't be a shouldn't be much of a problem, but you have to give it a careful whirl. Raj now after that uh, wonderful chip shot, please assume is a cleanup for him, and uh, he considerably does so. And after that change in the leaderboards, uh, Jairaj and Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, sorry, Jairaj Singh Sandhu and Hani Baswaya are at the top of the leaderboards at 14 under par. Akshay is at 13 under par with a bit of a blemish in his early rounds, but uh, Lohan is standing solo fourth at 12 under par. In close pursuit is Sachin at 11 under par. I, but after that birdie attempt, I I presume uh, Lohan and uh, Yuvraj would find themselves at uh, the same spot, which would be tied fourth at 12 under par. Change in uh, scorings as a uh, bit of a flutter for Abhinav Lohan as he has made double bogey on the par five. Fifth, so that drops him to a tied sixth position, and that birdie by Raj makes him jump up. Twelve under par, two shots adrift, and uh, the long hitters, you Jairat Singh Sandhu and Hani Basoya, are sitting pretty at fourteen under par, respectively. Yes, and Kapil is going about his regular business with half his shirt tucked in, tucked out. The normal approach and demeanor which he carries about carefree. 
Pindalans would be very happy with this uh, round as the putter's not behaving as he would have intended. But nonetheless, he's got a big stretch of holes in front of him. Things can change very, very quickly. And they are trying to figure out how to take down the dog leg par five seven hole. It's a very tricky uh, up and down coming up for Angad as he's. You can see the player when they are being such making such aggressive swings that uh, they want the ball to pop up really quick, and uh, which means it's somewhat of a semi flop coming up by Angad and uh, would want the ball to stop very quickly. Yeah, it seems like he's opened the club face and needs the ball to pop up and drop softly. And I think, uh, given where he was, he's he's done a fantastic job. That's a very good shot because uh, the half this week is quite severe and uh, it's very easy to underhit from such conditions. He's given himself a realistic short distance birdie part. And couple seems to be in a tricky couple lie in itself. Same thing. Same thing. I think Kapil had a, a trickier lie. I think his ball was sitting down more. Angad had to contend with the bunker, had to hit it over it and drop it softer. But how, as difficult as it may sound, just probably was an easier shot than what Kapil had. Yeah. The most important thing in these shots is how well is the ball sitting up or down in terms of the grass around it. And... Uh, the attention which Kapil was giving to that shot and the way that ball has come out would be suggest that it was pretty much a horrible line for him because in generally Kapil has got some very good uh, chipping touch in and around the greens. Yes, and short game is something that uh, no matter how much you keep practicing, you tend to get uh, some of the other lie which is as new as you've ever tried a shot from. It's so varied and Angad uh, clearly displaying that, you know what, I'm not all about my ball striking. I have great touch around the greens as well. And after that, Chip Short has also left his butt short.
Now, Angad would be looking to capitalize after that brilliant flop shot which he had hit from that severe heavy rough. Players of their caliber are definitely looking to take advantage of par fives. And uh, he's absolutely done that. What a wonderful uh, up and down from a very, very difficult fly. Angad stripes towards D number eight, as, as what we would presume would be a shot saved by him on the par five. And this could be a legitimate birdie by him. Om Prakash, on the other hand, is just about going about his business in a very silent, quiet way, unlike uh, what we've seen the rest of the season, how he's produced. A comfortable tap in for him. Zung has been going along quite steady, to be honest. I think uh, he'd be disappointed with a pass start of the six. And if that was for his birdie, indeed, he'd uh, be making a move in the right direction. Interesting things players do just before the beginning of their rounds. There you can see Honey getting his airports out. Akshay Sharma in conversations with uh, Dhakan Chatta about trying to stay loose, a bit of chit chat to calm the nerves. Different players have different opinions, and I'm sure Gagan would be giving him a piece of advice as uh, and uh, telling him to focus a little bit more to get that next win under his belt very soon. Are there what are your pre-round uh, must-dos before seeing it off? We we know we've uh, popularized your pre-shot routine, and uh, no reason why a few players abroad might copy that to get their round started. But what were the pre-round uh, requisites that were must for you before you start a round? Yes, uh, my pre shot, uh, sorry, not only pre shot, but prerequisites for the beginning of the tournament were make sure there is enough food for the round. And uh, yeah, 14 clubs in the bag and uh, be a little bit focused in whichever way that day presents itself. Not much antics there. Are you one of those who likes to listen to music or uh, no music at all? Yeah, I would definitely like to uh, listen to some music while I'm walking and warming up. But uh, unfortunately, somehow, no, man, no matter how many Bluetooth devices I keep buying for myself, I uh, somehow tend to spoil them and lose them very often. So, a good piece of advice given to me by my close friend, Daman, Daman Dabar, who we quite fondly called Doc, was that make yourself wait, reach the team ground at least a group ahead of your playing partners and uh, you will get to see different tee shots, different ball flights and seems to give you enough time and calm your nerves about how different players are approaching 
and going about their business. So that's a sound advice. You can actually reach at least a flight before yours and see how the players are going about their business and uh, what different ball flights present. So no one way of going about it. Different players have different venues, different views about it. I mean, so much so I've played with a lot of players who don't even look at what their playing partners are doing. Seems to work, seems to disturb them if they observe what the playing partners are doing. So, to each as his own and a look at the top five of the round four for the Haryana Open 2023 presented by Wanda Cement says, Hani Basoya and uh, Jairad Singh Sandhu are at 14 under par leading the tournament. One shot away is Akshay Sharma and uh, Yuvraj Sandhu is fourth at 12 under par and uh, in close pursuit to fourth position is Sachin Basoya at 11 under par. Yes, and we've seen a, a strong change of lead already and we haven't even made it to the first nine so interesting times ahead in this tournament but you're right when it comes to uh naman Dawar, at least one of the most wise golfers and wise people to uh, hang out with and then any point in time you're in and around his company it's a joyful time yes or up jessica bhi aapne dekha ye khiladi ne ball ko mark kara apna club nikala aur dobara giraya fairway ke beecho beech iska matlab yahi hai ki wahan pe kuch disturbance thi sprinkler head type ki jiska istemal kiya ja sakta hai rules of golf ke beech mein so jo janna cha rahe hain is hafte hum khel rahe hain lift clean and place iska matlab ye hota hai ki agar aapne ball ko fairway mein maar rakha hai ya choti kati ghas pe maar rakha hai wahan pe aap बॉल को मार्क करके उसे उठा के अच्छे से साफ करके एक क्लब लेंथ के अंदर पोजीशन कर सकते हैं बहुत बड़ा एडवांटेज मिल जाता है ताकि बॉल पे लगी हुई मिट्टी या पानी ओस की वजह से कुछ ना चाहने वाले सब्सटेंसेस उनको आप हटा सकते हैं और इन और अपने आप को बिल्कुल क्लियर अप्रोच दे सकते हैं बिल्कुल साफ बॉल के साथ में काफी बड़ा एडवांटेज हो जाता है स्कोरिंग में बस इसका एक ही फर्क ये है कि चाहे आप कितना भी अच्छा राउंड मार ले वो कोर्स रिकॉर्ड की तरफ नहीं जा सकता कोर्स रिकॉर्ड बनाने के लिए लिफ्ट क्लीन और प्लेस इज जैसी फैसिलिटी अगर अवेलेबल हो तो वो अलाउड नहीं होती और वो देखिए खतरे का घंटा घूम रहा है प्लेयर्स के आसपास टूर्नामेंट डायरेक्टर के स्वरूप में मिस्टर संपत चारी अगर ये आपके आसपास हो तो अपनी गति बढ़ा लीजिएगा और मेक श्योर दैट यू आर मूविंग वे फास्टर देन यूजुअल अर्जुन प्रसाद इज गुड मोर डिस्टेंस टू कवर देन अंगर डेड व्हिच डज नॉट मेक द शॉट एन इजियर बट ही हैव अ लिटिल ही डज नॉट हैव टू फ्लॉप इट एज मच ही Although he did go with an open club face, you have to fly it over the bunker and try stopping it as quickly as you can. If you watch Karthik coming over that slope from the left side of the green, both Arjun and Karthik uh, have given themselves good opportunities to make that. Yes, uh, and uh, you can see the quick strides being made by the players as uh, Mr. Chari is up and around to make sure that the pace of correct pace of play is being upheld. Uh, as most of you are already aware, and for those who are not. A stipulated amount of time frame has been given to not only hit that individualistic shot which you are in front with, but uh, you also need to finish your round and every hole in a given amount of time. In case you do not uh, finish your 
round in that stipulated amount of time uh, or that very whole danger lurks in and around in terms of referees uh, as we can see in the back right corner mr sampachari making sure that the trio of karan arjun and uh, karte need to pick up the pace it is what it would seem Karan gave that a wonderful wrap from long distance out. Uh, short power attempt of this, what I would presume he's got left for himself. Seventh being a par five, most of these players would be looking to take advantage and pick up a shot on that and get their rounds trending in the right direction. <laughs> Yeah, a watchful look by Karthik towards his butt somehow seems to wade the hole. The greens are posing a challenge for the players as uh, most of them are somewhat struggling in finding the bottom of the hole. Not easy to read uh, these greens as subtle contourings will... Uh, Subtle contouring make it a little difficult to get a perfect read on these greens. Uh, Arjun, on the other hand, I presume is uh, taking careful practice strokes for what would presumably be his for his birdie. Yes, Arjun had a very good approach shot from about roughly 70 yards out and uh, given himself a realistic look at birdie. And he rightly does that. Well done by the young man. And uh, onwards, they move towards hole number eight, which is a sizably lengthy par four in the front half. Yes, and uh, making amends for the two bogeys he's had on the day. Still has a while to go to catch up while... Uh, Baran here would like to wrap this up and not three putt it. Although we've seen uh, Karan strike the ball really well, but the putter seems to be running a little cold. Any confident stroke, middle of the hole, moving on to the next for him. We'll soon update our viewers with. Uh, the scores they made on that hole and the leaderboard in general. जो बन कर मेरा हम सफर आएगा, सिर्फ उसी को फर्क नजर आएगा। शुरू करो, डालो बुनियाद, घर महल नजर आएगा। Wonder लाई है, wonder नहीं। Work. Nazarayak. Wonder Cement. Fark Nazarayak. Han. And uh, as you watch the lovely aerial views of the golf course, it's an exciting day ahead. We've already had a few changes made in the leaderboard. Akshay Sharma started the day two shots clear of the pack. And uh, that has changed with Akshay Sharma making a couple of bogeys in the first five that he has played. He moves back to 13 under, but he's still uh, looming only a shot behind the current leaders, Hani Besoya and Jairat Singh Sandhu. Hani, an, uh, already a winner on tour, and uh, not just once, multiple times. Jairat, on the other hand, uh, if he so manages to win this week, will be the first win for him in his young career. And uh, that would be exciting to watch as we now go to the live action and our first look at hole number nine, 
for the first time today watching uh, one of the local players one of the one of, another one of the players who's won uh, multiple times on the indian tour in the bomber as he's known on uh, tour it's at a mile and he comes up a little short in number 9 yeah biji chan has had a very good uh, career and he would be looking him to make it even better but uh, unfortunate one double bogey on the par 3 fourth has his round into a bit of a speed bump as he was already already trending in the correct direction by birding hole number 2 and 3 but unfortunately double bogey had stopped his charge yes the hole number 9 is a bit of a dog leg and here's the first look at the international superstar rahil ganji rahil just has recovered from a stress factor and has just he narrowly evaded his birdie putt also so uh, good to see him back up up about and uh, getting his career back on track Yes, and uh, so if we take a look at the leaderboard again, we we have uh, a very unsurprising team, Aman Raj, who's won twice this year, and he's the closest pursuer to Om Prakash Chauhan, the leader of our uh, order of merit. He's uh, found himself cracking into the top ten at eight under par. and that's a good stroke and a big stride by akbar as uh, the ball finds the bottom of the hole i'm sure he would have buried that hole as he's got that excited look about him going about towards the 10th tee as we watched the day as it said it's not just the leaders were changing hands a lot of changes happening in and around the top 10 top 15 as well a lot of people making a bunch of birdies and i think if you're going through the day without making birdies you know if you're making pars you're, you're probably losing out on your position yes as we discussed this is one of those kind of golf courses which give you ample opportunities to make birdies a bunch of golf course game is one of those tracks where risk and reward is definitely you know uh, definitely more rewarded than uh, not so often as uh, yuvraj is lining up for his approach shot on the somewhat lengthy par 5 7th hole yuvraj seems to have laid it up a little further back in comparison to the players we watched but he still has a wedge in his hand do you think he's done it to maybe get a little more spin he seems to be not that happy with it. that strike is rather animated follow through he seems to have caught a little heavy then he would have like it could possibly be that his tee shot could have ended up in the spot of bug we never know we'll quickly get to see what has happened but uh, yes an animated finish by a player definitely means that the ball is not doing the desired job which was intended by the player and from a relatively simpler angle of approach is uh, Sachin Biswaya coming towards the flag stick and he's in a very good shape he would definitely give him a realistic look at birdie yes he just came over that slope and uh, as we go through the coverage we see Hani Biswaya Jairaj and Akshay they've all made a birdie on number 6 which would mean that uh, Although the lead is exactly the same, they've made their way up to 15 under par with Akshay at 14 under par. They're slowly separating themselves a little bit from the rest of the chasing pack. Were two shots adrift, Akshay. And...
Good morning. 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 Good Well, well, thanks for the introduction. That we've been uh, bringing you the live coverage. So around uh, three and four, around three yesterday was moving day. We see a lot of happen, a uh, lot of changes happen, as we are seeing uh, similar things happening today as well. And for all of you joining us, we'll be here till the very end of the commencement of this event. So uh, join us, stick with us. We'll be narrating exactly what uh, goes through the day here, and a quick update. would also mean that akshay sharma started the day with a two shot lead and now he finds himself a shot back at uh, 14 under par and the current leader is hani besoya and jairat sandhu at 15 under par so it looks like a fun exciting day to watch a fun exciting day to uh comment over what's happening and definitely for our viewers it seems like an exciting day ahead yes and uh, that's a wonderful stroke by you raj I would assume he has made birdie on that hole. I'm not very really sure. We'll get an update on what's happened. But uh, yes, we are bringing you live commentary for the 2023 Haryana Open, powered by Wonder Cements, courtesy AVP, the media giant. We're joining hands with professional golf tour of India, and uh, that makes golf more available on various different platforms on. ABP networks live eurosports on youtube and stack portals you can log on to different portals in terms of professional golf tour of india.com hashtag it and uh, see how the players are going about their business and what's happening in your various cities as the tour is up and running for the second half of the season and uh, various multiple spot spots are being covered by the tour in different locations as here is a look at haryana's very own uh, abhinav lohan somehow his putter has blown very very cold he's had some very close shaves in general a very very prolific putter abhinav lohan already has two titles under his name Very strange to see Parra not behaving. I'm sure in a short span of time he will make amends and make the Parra talk to his own songs. And such and then on the feed on your left, some sitting for uh, presumably be pre presumably a birdie as well. Yes, that was a very good uh, up and down by Sachin and uh, a very good chip by Om Prakash also from that severe angle. As surprisingly, Om Prakash missed the green by a fair distance. Could have been his tee shot finding oh, some of those trees and. Uh, A quick look back as a lengthy putt finds its way on the highlight replays. Nabil, I'm having a lot of close shaves, but a lot of close shaves would also indicate that uh, one is striking the ball decently and giving himself looks for birdies. And uh, currently, as we see the leaderboard uh, and see the scoring, Yashas Chandra has the. Hottest round going in the day currently. He's at 
nine under par. He smashed him his way into the top. Um, Prakash trying to gauge the break on the green after that uh, decent chip shot from a bit of spot as in the ninth hole has a bit of challenges of its own with a curving fairway towards dog leg right. It not only has a decent amount of shot shaping required of the tee, it also has fairway bunkers and undulating slopes on the fairway which pose their threats as well as uh, water lurking around as you can see in the backdrop on the approach shots. So you've got to be very careful with this. And let's see how Om Prakash ferries with this. And before Om Prakash, I'm presuming uh, Angad has his birdie opportunity coming up. Yes, and Angad has been putting quite uh, handsomely over the two days that we've been following him, he certainly strikes the ball very consistently and always finds himself giving these opportunities. And uh, Angad is one of those players, if he gets a few parts rolling, he's going to threaten the tournaments. And that is an almost horseshoe and a very disappointing miss. Here's that expression by the player of twirling the putter, just go to say how disappointed or how exciting at the same time would have been that experience for him with that long putt. Yes, and a lot of the times when you miss a putt and it uh, does not even touch the hole, is less heart-breaking breaking than when you actually have a lip out and uh, nonetheless a horseshoe like he did. Yes, and uh, Om Prakash would be looking to clean up with this as his par attempt on ninth hole. Wow, the putt is still not listening to the current order of merit leader Prakash is having is having a bit of a struggle with the flag stick as they call it uh, as yesterday and today both those both the days two consecutive days where flag stick is not behaving the way he would have liked Take a look at the current leader, Anil Pasoya. 
from the way from the place he is uh, trying to make his up and down would, would possibly mean that he is over the green in two with his length that is a very very realistic possibility it would be interesting to see how he goes about it he's trying to let it drop and release towards the hole and he's done a fairly decent job with it would have actually liked it to be a little bit better off closer to the hole but uh, nonetheless roughly about a yard two yard part left for him which would be 3 feet 6 sorry 6 feet as jayraj alongside with him he has just placed his tee marker to use the lift clean place available in this movie i guess mandeep pathania would be breathing a sign of relief as lift clean in place would mean that his post record stands for another season oh yes and knowing him uh, he's going to 100% hold uh, a lot of pride to that factor and that course record there are now from just off the putting surface carefully seeing where he wanted his ball to be placed yeah jeraj wing the texas wing style putting it off from the frame is but thanks a lot of range to take care of but uh, a wise decision as he's placed the ball right next to the hole and would have somewhat of a formality left to clean up on this hole hole number 7 par 5 both uh, the leaders jairad singh sandhu and hanif uh, basoya have uh, hit their approach shots from behind the green so that would mean that both of them would have taken on the challenge of making it to the green in two shots possible and with their lens it is absolutely a realistic possibility both of them are power hitters and very easy for them to make sure that they are in and around the hole in no matter what the length of the hole might be yes i think, I think uh, the aggressive route is the way to go anyway because the dangerous yuvraj is lurking right behind them and making a bunch of birdies and not to forget akshay sharma was playing in the leader group started the round as the leader in this event uh, warmed up quite strongly in the back half of the course and he's coming off a wonderful birdie on number 6 himself so maybe the tides are ch- changing for him and turning in his favor as he looks at his uh, makeable putt on number 7 comfortably hold by Akshay and a uh, bit of a fist pump exchange with him and his caddy would mean that that could have been a birdie by him. So that would trend him also in the correct direction which he is in good need of as he has uh, also birdied hole number 6. So back to back birdies could uh, pedestal him back to 15 under par where he began the round. smooth stroke and easy roll and an acknowledgement to the gallery around by hani basoya would mean that this would also be a birdie and i don't even think that there is a possibility of doubt in jairaj making that part because it's 
a mere formality for him. A very good lag putt by him on from off the green has given him a very simplistic short distance putt to clean up. Nicely done. As the leaders exit hole number seven and march on hole number eight. Eighth and ninth are one of the trickier holes on this track as both have a relatively lengthy par fours and uh, both have uh, narrow openings in terms of landing where the drivers or the tee shots end up. Come from a sizable distance on hole number ninth would has sorry has launched his ball towards the target and has hit a very very good shot balls underneath the flagstick and uh, leaves himself with a simplistic uphill putt. And Karan again showing uh, what we've been saying since yesterday that him and his ball striking have been running very superior this week, but the putt has been running a little cold since the back nine yesterday as we watch. Uh, the highlights of Akshay and uh, Jairaj's group with Hani making that part comfortably. So, we'll have an update for you guys uh, as, as soon as we can. But it seems like Akshay and Hani have indeed made a birdie on number seven, which would mean that Hani now is the sole leader at 16 under par. So for the first time in the tournament, we have uh, a player reaching the score of 16 under, while Akshay and Jairaj, and Jairaj was made a par on number seven, which uh, probably would be disappointing given all his playing partners made a birdie and the players uh, around him in the top 10, more, 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 most of them making a birdie. Also, he would have felt like he's missed out. Him and Akshay now a shot behind Honey. So, Ani, if you remember, yesterday held the lead for a little bit before Akshay went on the birdie screen and Ani finishing with that little blemish uh, for three part in the 18th. Uh, things are warming up. Things are getting interesting as we watch uh, Karthik carefully measuring and uh, reading his part. The green and the undulations coming forth here we take a look at the pro tracer drive on number nine for arjun followed by karan followed by karthik Very observant and uh, close look at what Karthik has for his part. Uh, he's given it pretty much all he could, and uh, the result is very good as he's left himself pretty much underneath the whole stick. Uh, sorry, underneath the flag stick, and has about roughly foot, foot and a half left. And this is pretty interesting to see as we watch on our live feed. Number two, for the first time, we take you. Take all our viewers to the back nine with Om Prakash getting that out of the bunker and a wonderful shot played by him. 
not easy given the circumstances and the distance in that shot. While uh, moving back to field number one, we have Arjun Prasad carefully going through his routine, making sure he has everything in order before he pulls the trigger on this putt. This is steel, and this is an idea. What happens when we join them? Something magnificent. Like the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, three times the height of the Eiffel Tower. An iconic landmark where Tata Steel's Comfloor 80 composite floor decking has played a part, making it a triumph of human inspiration. Tomorrow shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel, we also make tomorrow. In terms of uh, reading the green or the green are uh, struggling a bit. Here's a look on both your screens as Karan and respectively Kapil Kumar try to attempt their uh, birdie putts. Kapil's not having a fond time with the uh, putter on the on the putting greens as yesterday and today. Both those days, putter seems to be a little bit on the misbehaving part. Karan with another disappointing stroke. Um, it's a little difficult to watch someone striking the ball so purely peppering all the flags and uh, just not being able to make anything at all on the greens. Yeah, then from the beginning of the day, I've been firing at all the flag sticks. Soon then later, sooner than later, he'll be able to get his mojo back and the putter would start behaving as he would want. But that was a very good uh, bunker blast from... Uh, Prakash Chauhan on hole number 10 as not only is it a lengthy bunker shot but uh, the green is a little more elevated than where that bunker is and uh, it's a very small plateau to not only get the ball to land upon but stay so close to the flag stick so brilliant job by him and a small glimpse of the talent that our current order of merit leader possesses. I think they're comfortable cleanup. Moving on to the back nine now, as we've got a couple already playing the back nine. A couple would be really disappointed where, where, where that ball has ended up because uh, he has three putted to the hole number 10, and uh, he wasn't that far out to have a par attempt coming up from that distance. Must have been a serious. Error in getting the speed. Yes, and we have uh, Arjun Prasad trying to clean up, but uh, as we said, he left himself a tricky one. He's three putted as well, so uh, not a very good day for that group on the greens. While Angad lines up his part, um, you know, we have a disappointing update with Yuvraj Singh Sandhu making a double bogey on number eight and sort of putting a big dent on his charge and he's moved back to 11 under par. Now he's five shots behind Honey, who uh, currently sits at 16 under par for the event. And Angad would want nothing but to see this one, go to the bottom of the hole, pick up his golf ball and move on to number 11, which as we remember is a very um, fair birdie opportunity. And Angad's been rolling the ball beautifully on the greens for the two days that we've been following him. A testament to why he's uh, up around the leaderboard. Yes, after that, uh, somewhat of a heartbreak on goal number ninth, where the ball almost horseshoed completely. This is a good sign for any player to see the ball smoothly finding the center of the hole. And, uh, relatively easy up and down from the bunker for our order of merit leader, Om Prakash Chauhan. And we have another young local star who is making his way or smashing his way into the top 10. 
uh, at nine under par is Adil Bedi, who's made uh, four birdies after that uh, bogey start on number one. So players are now, some of them uh, are figuring out the reads on the green and making a move up towards the leaderboard, while a few players are giving a few shots back by going through a few putting balls. Yes, and uh, another look at the drone shots of this magnificent venue, Panchkula Golf Club, which is hosting Haryana Open 2023 at the banks of Kar Kagar River, which in its dormant state looks very, very soothing. Because what we saw about in a span of six weeks back, where the overflow of due to the monsoons had pretty much gobbled up most of the front half of this golf course and uh, serious floods had drained up on towards the golf club. Most of this golf club was under six feet of water and uh, a very, very uh, good job by the administrative staff to get it up and running for tournament conditions. And as we have a look at the current top five for round four, Ani Basoya finds himself at sole lead at 16 under par. Akshay Sharma has made his way back to 15 under par, but at 15 under par, he is tied second with Jairat Singh Sandhu. Sachin Basoya is sole at fourth position, 13 under par. And a bit of a flutter by Yuvraj on hole number eight makes him five shots adrift of the leader, and he finds himself at 11 under par, tied fifth. A lot of golf left, and uh, a lot of golf left, and uh, it would be a very, very interesting watch as. Uh, Panchala Golf Course offers a lot of birdie opportunities. And uh, the way these talented young superstars like to play, they will take more of the aggressive route than the checkered chess play and uh, challenge the venue to pick up a few birdies and get themselves ahead of the chasing packs. Welcome to today's episode of Golf Yard. Today we are with Golfer Amit Dubey. Okay, sir, what are the basics of golf? I mean, what are the things that are happening? How do you play? Today, let's show the game. Golf is a simple game played by complicated people. So, I will tell you simplify it today. So, the most important thing in golf is the grip. How do you jump on your hands on the club? This is your thumb, your thumb, your thumb, your left thumb, just right of center. This is your V. ये आपके कॉलर बोन पे जाना चाहिए और दूसरे हाथ को ऊपर ओवरलैप करके इसका वी भी आपके कॉल सेम कॉलर बोन पे आना चाहिए अगर आपका ग्रिप ठीक है तो आधी कहानी कहानी सही जा चुकी है अब अगला जो बेसिक होता है जो ज्यादा लोग ज्यादा ध्यान नहीं देते वो है आपका पोस्चर ये पोस्चर खड़ा कैसे होना होता है कि बैलेंस में स्विंग बनाने के लिए पोस्चर तो आपका कितना हिप बैंड कितना नी बैंड कई लोग ऐसे ऐसे हो जाते हैं या ज्यादा हिप ऐसे बाहर निकाल देते हैं या सीधे खड़े हो जाते हैं तो ये बैलेंस होना चाहिए कि हिप आपके हील के पीछे जाएगा नी आपके शू लेस तक आएगा और ये आपका पोस्टर हो गया है तीसरा जो बेसिक है वो अलाइनमेंट है अगर हम निशाना नहीं लगा सकते तो मार कैसे सकते सो अलाइनमेंट से तीन जमीन से पहले पाओ घुटने हिप्स चेस्ट आईज सारी चीज एक ही लाइन में होनी चाहिए तो ये आपका थ्री बेसिक्स हो गया है जो डायनामिक नहीं है आप दो डायनामिक बेसिक्स है वो है आपका प्लेन ये क्लब किस कैसे चलता है ये क्लब देखो आप देखोगे ये एंगल पे बैठा है तो इसी एंगल पे आप उसको पीछे ले जाओगे देखो उसी एंगल पे आगे ले जाओगे तो ये आपका इसको पाथ बोलते ये क्लब की पाथ है और जो लास्ट है बेसिक डायनामिक अगेन वो आपका पिविट है कि बॉडी कैसे चलती है ये बॉडी है ना वेट बैक स्विंग में पीछे जाता है डाउन स्विंग में रोटेशन करके आगे आता है बैक फॉरवर्ड चलो ये सारी चीजें ना एक साथ कर देते हैं क्या देख ग्रिप अच्छी तरह पकड़ेंगे पॉस्चर ठीक से बनाएंगे 
अपना अलाइनमेंट चेक करेंगे बात भी उठा के फिवेट के साथ घुमा देंगे and uh, there is the ball rolling on to the ninth green uh, we're moving you raj sandhu has it that tee shot we'll soon uh, sorry that a cold shot we'll see soon come to know he is the kind of player he is i'm sure he would be fuming with that slugger on the eighth hole of double bogey so i will i would assume uh, given the names in the top of the leaderboard i think uh, with that double you raj um well i won't make the mistake of counting him out but his task seems to be um a very very uphill one now if he has to catch and honey might have a say on that because honey is four under through his seven as well so it's not that uh he's given the leaders a few strokes the leaders themselves are picking up a lot of birdies and moving ahead in the pack so he's definitely got uh, his task cut out majorly now if he has to say anything about this tournament yes hanis put his uh, gears into fast track and is trying to run away with it but uh, the leaders in terms of akshay you would jaraj and sachin would are not that far off you raj with his blemish has definitely made his task very very steep and uphill but uh, can't count clears all the way up till 11 under par out of it as uh, ample birdie opportunities are around and you can't count out any of these players as they are if not equally talented they in their own sense would back their abilities to outpip each other but uh, the way honey is blazing away i won't be surprised that uh, he makes his life extremely difficult for the chasing pack yes and i agree and you know usually we tend to give a lot of uh, importance to what one might be uh, what one has done in the past and that that is an indication of whether a player would uh, have nerves or uh, whether they'd give up a charge on sunday but what does matter is no matter how many times you won or not won it's your score at the end of the day on that sunday and uh, you have to be the best player that week so given the scoreboard currently it's difficult to say whether hani or akshay or jairaj or someone who's two three shots behind comes up and wins this event as we watch the pro tracers for the group that is on the ninth green now which is abhinav lohan yuvraj and such in besoya a live look at uh, such in on hole number 9 but his birdie attempt and, uh, if he does make this it would move him to 14 under par and would make things even more interesting as far as this tournament is concerned another lengthy attempt for him and he's run it by oh it seems like a solid 6 feet if not more so he'd have a task to make his par yes he's left it sizably away from comfort as uh, the green speeds have been up to 9.6 which is a substantial speed such in uh, not using the green speed well on this green but uh, on the flip side he's at least got an up hill part and most of all got a look at how the ball has broken past the hole
स्पुटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट फील अ लाइफ काम घर में कर रहे हों या बाहर या किसी बीमारी से उबर रहे हों आप बिना जाने डिहाइड्रेट हो सकते हैं रोज जरूरत है फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट इसका अनोखा आर्ट री फॉर्मूला इलेक्ट्रोलाइट रिस्टोर करे ग्लाइकोजन रिप्लेनिश करे और मसल्स का तनाव कम करे तुरंत एनर्जी के साथ फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट slightly lengthier distance than op would have liked on hole number 11 but uh, knowing the length of the hole and uh, the way om prakash plays that would have definitely been his second shot and which means he got a reasonably short distance birdie putt on hole number 11 as kapil is trying to make amends of a slightly cold putter has also hit it a fair bit distance away than he would have liked this a lot of break which i'm see, i'm find i think the players are finding a little difficult to gauge it's not very easy to gauge the contouring subtle contouring in on some of these greens that's a very good uh, part and chip from both lohan and uh, angad but uh, more so lohan would have looked to have make that part by the standards he upholds for for himself and he got what he said for even the spectators to watch in general a very very strong putter a very prolific putter Well, that's a very good putt hole by Sachin. Awards three putting the hole number nine, and uh, so does Kapil also. So both of them would have breathed it. Sorry, I had have had a long breath of relief as uh, quiet putters are strike are slowly warming up for both these players. Here's a look at Om Prakash after that chip shot, cleaning up for what. one would presume is his birdie and has also found the bottom of the hole so all in all uh, good to see some hot putters some players with their putters waking up and behaving the correct way and angad cleans up for a small tap in range birdie putt that from the looks of it all three have secured their birdie on hole number 11 which is a great sign as uh, after an update on the current scores jairaj sandhu has also made it up to 16 under par and finds himself in a tie for first spot for uh, sorry for, for spot 1 with hani basoya so the local lad uh, from the tri city jairaj fighting and trading blows with uh, some very senior players in terms of hani basoya who's multiple winner on the professional world tour of india so jairaj is trending in the right direction 
good to see a youngster perform this good at this early in his stage. Arjun Prasad leaving that one just a few rolls short, pretty much tracking towards the hole as he begins his charge on the back nine. Yes, and Jairaj uh, finds himself in unfamiliar waters, but he seems to have uh, ice cold veins. And the comfort with which he's played since yesterday is a testament to that, actually. And I think Honey, despite being the more experienced player, will have his work cut out if he has to trump Jairaj today. As you watch Karan carefully lining up his part, and uh, Karan's been very impressive when it comes to ball striking. His his part has been cold, and hopefully that curse gets lifted, and he can make one here. And he finally does it. That would give him immense relief. Maybe that's a good start to the back nine for him, and he can continue with his ball striking and make the putts moving forward. I think uh, we've been seeing, we've been watching him since yesterday. He's the more deliberate uh, player, takes his time. Yes, he takes pretty much everything into account. And uh, that's one way of going about your business. Leaving no stone unturned. And that was a quick, long stride towards the hole as he has produced the desired result on that particular hole. Hole number 10 out of the way. Mere eight holes left for that group. And a bit of a gallery forming up with the leader as uh, Akshay, Jairaj and uh, Hani Basoya stride on towards the ninth hole. Good to see player, uh, spectators, members and avid golfers come out and support not only this, the sport but also their respective favourite professional golfers. It's a very concentrated and focused approach part coming up by Jairaj as every stroke matters, not only in the round of ball, but for someone who finds himself at the top of the leaderboard and what a part he has hold. Even the galleries have got the worth of money for the time travel to watch the young man from Tri-City Absolutely. Absolutely. Stellar goal. That was a very, very big part, especially when you were at the top of the leaderboard and uh, that could make things interesting. Yes, and I think uh, Jairaj is taking the fight to Honey currently. He's, he's uh, with that part made, he seems like telling him that, you know, I know you're the more experienced player. I know the odds are in your favor, but I'm going to play my game, game and I'm not going to let up at all. So this is uh, very exciting given the current position we are in and uh, as you're moving towards the end 
of the first half on the second round. Still a lot to happen, a lot to be decided. But Jairaj now has made his way on to 17 under, as we'll have an uh, update soon for you, while Akshay and Hani still have their holes. Hole number nine to uh, finish. Akshay, now you would assume, needs to make a lot of putts because uh, these boys seem to be distancing themselves from even uh, their playing partner. And Akshay, as we remember, started the day in the lead. Yes, uh, mighty golf being played by the young lad in adverse conditions, trying to make most of the home course advantage. That was a wonderful putt hold by Jairaj. And this is what is the reply from the young superstar, Hani Basoya. Let's see what has he got to offer. Hani showing him that uh, there's a reason the odds are in my favor. Making that stroke very comfortably and very confidently, more importantly. Yes, Hani has uh, made that part with most most of simplistic ease as both these players at top are playing some beautiful golf and some stellar golf is on display for the galleries which have accumulated to support follow and enjoy some hot golf it's time for akshay also to get his act together and uh, join up the party which is happening around him Yes, and we take a look at the leader group uh, and their pro tracers on number nine. And Karan on hole number 11 after that uh, confident part made. Um, yes, seems Karan, uh, sorry. Karan has, has hit it on the front edge of the green and here's another look at uh, Jairaj's long distance backdoor entry putt on hole number 9. And uh, both these boys as we have a score update, Honey and Jairaj both making birdies on number 9 now. We have both the leaders at 17 under and the closest following um, at uh, third alone is Akshay Sharma playing in that group. Aditya, do you think it's too soon to say that this is a two-man uh, race now or maybe they are separating themselves and it's between them? With the way both these boys are going around, uh, I would definitely pick and choose either one of them as uh, they have... A mere nine holes left and three shots is a substantial lead to be covered up in three holes. Uh, sorry, in nine holes. Especially when the leaders are trending very fast, very hot in the correct direction. Yes, I would agree with you there because uh, the leaders are not... Uh, uh, well, the field is playing well, but the leaders are playing... They're, they're shooting the best rounds. Yes, both Hani and uh, Jairaj have respectively shot... 5 under and 4 under each in terms of uh, for the front nine, which is a very big showcasing, especially at the final round. Yes, and as so, we take a look at Arjun Prasad on hole number 11, I think he's uh, uh, he's he's had a lot of green to work with, but uh, he's not done a very good job with his uh, approach. So, yes. Arjun is not very Comfortable shot which he would have liked, but I think he, he the, from the spot which he was in, it wasn't an easy shot. I think Karan has left himself in a more comfortable position, and um, he would want to get this up and down for uh, presumably a birdie after making that putt. Yeah, that's a very simplistic up and down for Karan. He has a very good control over his shot game. I remember we had a discussion about similar kind of chips, and he was working tediously. To get better at this range. So maybe the uh, he's, he's given himself a similar length that he made on the last for par, so he would fancy his flat stick on this one as well. 
they may be make a better fist to fit with the wedge, but uh, that's what he has left himself. So I think it is uh, it is turning out to be a two man race now because Hani Bisoya, who is leading, is also going the best round of the day at five under par, and uh, Jairaj is having the second best round of the day running at four under par from nine, and the only person who's matching them up is Yashas with a four under going for him after 15 today so the boys in the top of the leaderboard are there for a reason as you watch your Raj on number 10 um, with a relatively lengthy putt for his birdie up a slope and uh, onto the right tier now but who oh, will not be for him as Karthik comes up a little short with his butt from just off the green on number 11. A lot happening in and around the leaderboard, but the current leaders, Hani and Jairaj, don't seem to be faced by anything that the rest of the field is doing. They're bothered about what they're doing and they're going about their business in a rather flashy and aggressive fashion. Arjun now with his attempt for birdie and coming up short. Arjun is struggling in, in, in and around the greens. I think he's uh, hitting the ball fairly consistently, but the, the flat stick and the wedges are causing some trouble. Yes, it's not easy to keep uh, all the aspects of your game in check. And uh, Arjun would be happy to just walk away with a par after... A bit of a struggle after that tee shot on hole number 11. And Sachin has a relatively short putt left for himself. Generally, a very aggressive uh, stroke maker when it comes to putting, likes to ram the ball at the back of the cup. And that's pretty much what he tried to do over here, but seems to have over borrowed on the break. Yeah, so let's uh, see if Karan can continue. Yeah, exactly, that's that's the same expression what uh, some of the players have had on this green where even Sachin was discussing with his caddy that it did not even remotely break as much as what we thought. Yes, and uh, on your feed one, we just watched Karan make another part. So, um, good. The flat stick is now rolling for him a little better and we hope that continues through the back line because his ball striking. And we are sure that he can make a bunch of birdies. Cleaning up for his par on the 11th. Won't be very happy with the par on the 11th, but uh, from the spot of multiple mothers which he was on this hole, par is an acceptable regard. Yes, and Abhinav also running through his dry putting form today as he misses another one. Another one slips by for him on number 10. And uh, as we are going through this, now, Aman Raj has managed to sneak in another birdie, and he also is uh, four under through the day today and sitting pretty at uh, 10 under par for the event, which would uh, propel him into the top 10 and uh, currently at tied eighth with Akbar Hussain and uh, the old war horse, as my co host likes to call him, Rahil Ganji. Raj tapping in for his power on number 10. 
Yeah, you Raj, after that blemish on hole number eight is expressing to him is out of his mind. But uh, here's a look at the beautiful hole number nine and hole number four, respectively. What body is separating them? From the comforts of the AC halls of the beautiful AVP studios, this view only looks inviting and uh, in the mindset too for somebody to just go out there, play the beautiful scenic golf course and uh, have a blast. I'm sure a different opinion would be shared by the players out there playing and uh, trying to better their scorecards by making an ample amount of birdies. Would have would share the different opinion, but uh, tremendous job again. Can't should not be forgotten how much water this golf course was in uh, under due to the heavy monsoons and the overflow of Kagar River. Great job done by the admi administrative staff to get it up and running for tournament conditions. A close look at the ever changing top five is Honey and Jairaj trading blows with each other, are uh, keeping up with each other at 17 under par at first position, tied. And Akshay is at 14 under par, third, alongside Sachin Basoya, 13 under par. All of them have finished the nine holes, and Karan finds himself tied fifth at 11 under par after a stretch of 11 holes. Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. Well, the views which you're getting on your screen could not have been possible without the support of respective uh, industry giants in terms of tour partners, as we would like to call them, in in the forms of Tata Steel, Amrutanjan, Fruitnik Electro Plus, Bisleri, Vedika, Himalayan Spring Water, and uh, Athletic Drive alongside Golf Plus and Golf Designs. And Rolex, which has been there for the longest durations with in support of Professional Golf Tour of India. So a big shout out to these respective industry leaders in showing support and making it possible for, in terms of not only price funding, but uh, respective avenues of their own, which they have provided for the youngsters to make this a career option. One of the most recent... Uh, Handshakes is between Professional Golf Tour of India and the DP World Tour. A big sign of big strides forward trending in the right direction by Professional Golf Tour of India. It does not only size up and amp up the price purse for every and new events which have alongside come on the calendar, but it has also brought in a door opening opportunity for the person who finishes on the numero uno spot for the end of this race, which is currently held by Om Prakash Johan. What we saw last season was a two-man fight between Manu Gandas and Yuvraj Singh Sandhu. And uh, Yuvraj being pipped out by Manu at pretty much the last of it. And uh, Manu, courtesy his flawless year, is now showcasing his talents with the merger between Professional World Tour of India and DP World on the European Tour, and he's doing substantially well over there. The sole reason why we have not seen last year's Order of Merit winner enough on our screens this season. So big avenues available. Golf in India is trending in the right direction. So for the youngsters who are in and about and are contemplating as golf as a professional career, these are high tides. You can definitely watch and learn from what is happening. And uh, 
can give it a serious thought to consider this as a professional career. Big shout out to the big man who's made most of these things possible is uh, Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, the CEO of Professional World Tour of India. So big stones being turned by him and uh, opportunities opening up for not only the tour, but its players and various respective sponsors. That's a wonderful description of what's happening in the Indian golf environment. While we take a look at our leader group playing hole number 10, we also see Karan Pratap, who we just watched to number 11, making a birdie along with Angit Chima and uh, um, Angit Chima making a birdie on 11 and 12, both in there. We had Akshay Sharma with a very close shave on number 10. You would assume that uh, he's the closest pursuer to Hani and Jairaj, and he would need everything to go in the hole because Hani and Jairaj don't seem to be letting up anything at all. Now we have Hani with uh, what we would presume is for a birdie on number 10. And this is uh, the closest attempt for birdie we've seen all day yet. Yes, the top horses between uh, the race for the top spot, Hani Basoya amongst them. They seems to have underrated it a little. Yes, Hani seems to have uh, not read that green properly and uh, Jairaj would be looking up to clean up for his par attempt and keep pace with his playing partner. The one man who would be looking to fuel up his round is their playing partner, Akshay Sharma, as uh, yesterday in his back line, he did fire up on all cylinders and had taken charge of the lead all of what would be required as of right now for him to catch up, not just take lead, but catch up with his playing partners as he's three shots adrift from uh, his playing partners. Angad Chima is trending in the right direction for around four as he's jumped up to being tied fifth as he's got a three under par round going for himself alongside Karan Pratap, who is two under four in round and is at tight fifth position. Sachin now sizing up his part on number 11 seems to be under the hole. Usually a better sign that would mean that players could be aggressive with the stroke without worrying it uh, running too much by the hole.
we are such an hold a similar length part on nine pole number nine to make his bar attempt and uh does the exact similar thing on hole number 10 so good to see his butter warming up and uh a birdie on hole number 10 would trend him also towards the leaderboard Chen, who currently occupies a sole fourth position, would be joined up with Akshay with that birdie on hole number 10. Now, I would like to make this. He's been having some uh, struggle with the putter today, and we want to change that. and maybe have a better back name with the flat stick. It's finally with a ball which does the Thing desired by its owner is uh, Abhinav Lohan. Good to see his putter somewhat listening to him for the rest of the round as in general a very prolific putter today on this quieter side of it. Now uh, for Yuvraj to mount his challenge, every and anything needs to just find the bottom of the hole if he has to contend as uh, Honey, Basoya and Jarad Sandhu have sizably started marching along at a very fast pace towards the title. That's a uh, part, but uh, expressionless Sandhu after the eighth hole blemish. Wonder what's going on in his brain. Yes, uh, most of the players have made good use of hole number 11 as uh, Sachin has found himself trending a little up and onwards. He's three at the par for his round and is now tied third alongside Akshay. And so has Yuvraj Singh Santu alongside with Abhinav Lohan, both after their respective birdies on hole number 11, are sitting comfortable at tied fifth position. Now here's a look at the 18th green on your left side and the tee box of 10th hole in front of you. Eighth is, uh, tenth is a bit of a tricky tee shot as the green, as the tee shot is sizably higher than the fairway and uh, imagine all of this being underwater for the, for like the longest duration throughout the monsoons. The might of uh, Mother Nature and Kaga River had over flooded on to the golf course and uh, pretty much covered it under, pretty much six feet under. That is what the info which we've been provided and was the case what we saw on some of our updates on uh, videos being posted by people, a lot of monsoon a lot of outflow of water through the banks of River Kaga onto the track, which now seems to be dormant and uh, most of the golf course has dried out and has been prepped up for tournament conditions in a fabulous way by the tournament com committee. Really unfortunate that uh, because of the monsoons, uh, the golf course lost its range, which was uh, submerged throughout that immense water pressure which was over flooded onto the track. But I'm sure with the, the way they have come up and kept the golf course into a great condition, they would get and take this as an opportunity to better the range and make it into a far better facility. Something. Uh, professional movie watcher. I would join the defense. 
winning in Coimbatore, I would say. It's amazing. Everything worked in my favor. And uh, everybody who loves me was there. So, yeah. Uh, definitely winning the first tournament. Winning the first tournament was special in Pune in 2019. People get spread more happiness. It would be a better place. Poverty. 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 St. Andrews, because home of golf, so can't be better. Uh, junior, I played Junior Open, so I was 16, long time back. Leopard Creek Golf Course in South Africa. It was an amateur tournament, <coughs> but very beautiful course. Lots of water, lots of island greens, and it was overlooking Kruger National Park. Practicing on the course. Playing a practice round. Here's a first look at uh, the lengthy par 4, 14. 14 did post a bit of challenge yesterday for the players as a couple has found the middle of the fairway but is a fair distance out as his playing partners are both on the extreme left hand side. Not a bad angle to be in on this hole. There's a lot of good shots we watched yesterday on hole number 14, but uh, this was one of the greens which troubled the players. Uh, not a lot of parts were made on this hole. And uh, as we speak, uh, Adil Bedi has uh, mounted another charge. He's made four birdies in the back nine. He's five under for his round and moved up to 11 under for the tournament at tied seven. So some scores are there out in the back nine. A lot of birdies, as we see on our scorecard, uh, for a lot of players. And Om Prakash coming off a birdie on uh, 11 and 12. So he'd like to capitalize on number 14 as well. Left himself a long attempt at birdie. Yeah, but that's uh, that's fairly far away from uh, the hole and uh, would leave him with a very tricky two-part par. If, I guess so uh, Prakash was expecting the ball to not deviate off target, but sometimes uh, even the mighty in terms of Om Prakash have to contend with strong rough as what we could only presume because under ideal circumstances Om Prakash would have driven that ball right next to the flagstick. Let's have a look how under Chima fares from that part. Seems to have given a tremendous amount of height. But him and both uh, Om Prakash have found themselves further bit away than they would have liked. I guess it's the uphill nature of that shot which made the ball curve a bit more. Under ideal circumstances, that ball from that line would move a little left towards them. And that's pretty much what has happened. Kapil Kumar, on the other hand, doing the opposite. Uh, he's taken a more aggressive line. And he hit it over the flag, so he's going to have a little down and putt left for his birdie. But you'd much rather be in uh, Kapil Kumar's shoes right now, playing the 14, compared to uh, the lengthy putts of Om Prakash and Angad. Interesting galleries forming up uh, right next to hole number 11, supporting their favorite players and enjoying some beautiful golf being telecasted in front of them. As that was a very good chip shot from uh, Akshay on hole number 11. Rani's tee shot seems to have found the sand trap and uh, out of the bunker, he is generally very, very good. So watch out for a very close shave, if not very realistic possibility for him to roll out from this.
come but jinx and uh, that ball did not come out of the bunker very very surprising maybe he drew a horrible lie because under normal circumstances such a sorry uh, honey is a brilliant bunker player What could seem to be a blemish coming up for Honey after that uh, fluttered uh, approach shot from the bunker? Take a look at his joint leader alongside Honey Jairaj trying to make his stroke. And uh, let's see what he's got to say about it because he has been putting very, very well and have a very close shape to the hole. We'll soon come to know with the updates of uh, what's happened on hole number 11. But it looks like that uh, we might have a change in the leader board by at least a shot, if not two. As we look at uh, long distance birdie attempt coming up from Angad Chima, both Angad and Om Prakash had. I found the green, but uh, a fair bit distance away from the black stick as they would like to be. But nonetheless, a two part walk away on 14th hole as, as a result or resultant of par is absolutely all right. And Angad has hit a very good part, giving himself with a about a four foot part left for par. So, all in all, that's a very good uh, lag part from that far out. And uh, Honey is going to need all his skills to lag this up close to the hole as this is for his par and seems to have done a very good job of it. Um, on, the, on the 14th, Aditya, do you think uh, both these players, they took a precautionary route by playing on the left side? Because they were on the left of the fairway, that would mean that the green was actually open to them and the flag was more accessible compared to couple. Yeah. Would have been higher for them, which in general circumstances promotes a massive right left movement. So I presume uh, that would have been the case. And uh, Om Prakash has left it sizably short for his birdie attempt, and which would mean he's got at least six feet left for his par attempt. Om Prakash not at all happy with his putting display and the stats which is generally exceptionally good which has given him the lead of at the order of merit for the 2023 season of the professional world tour of india let's have a look at uh, the live feeds on one and two with both the partners players out with their partners Akshay with a relatively small birdie putt, what I would presume has found the bottom of the hole. So that's a birdie. And some fist pump to go with it. Yes, and uh, Kapil from that far out is hit a good putt and would have fancied his chances. But uh, from that far out, it's never easy to get the ball going into the bottom of the hole but uh, a very good lag but nonetheless by him and the story remains to be what is happening on hole number 11th between Jairaj and Hani Masoya because from the looks of it Hani seems to have dropped a shot and if Jairaj Sandhu has buried that hole it could be a too short difference well, that would be something and 
Yeah, here's an interesting little fact. If uh, Honey's bogey the 11th, no other player has made a bogey on number 11 till the 21st person. So in the top 20, he's going to be the only one to make a bogey on number 11. And he missed that short returning putt, which would mean that he's gone through a double bogey on the very, very easy hole number 11 and uh, could attribute it to a little lapse in concentration and we're going to soon let you know the difference in lead and the change in the lead as couple makes no mistake with his four footer on hole number 14. Carefully finishing up for his par on number 14. And there we watch Akshay making a birdie on number 11. And that was Jairaj's par part. We have an update on the score. So... Akshay has made a birdie and moved on to 15 under par. Hani Besoya has unfortunately doubled the 11th uh, and more so from the greenside bunker, which has now pushed him back to 15 under par, which means that Jairad Singh Sandhu is the new leader once again with seven holes to lay. As we remember, Jairad was one of the leaders uh, beginning round number three. And the lead has shifted to uh, multiple players. Uh, the lead was held by Raj Singh Sandhu yesterday very briefly, then moved on to Hani Basoya for a while. And uh, finally, it was with Akshay Sharma when day number three ended. And now we have Jairad Singh Sandhu grabbing the lead back at 17 under par. Two shots clear of Sachin Basoya, Hani Basoya, and Akshay Sharma at 15 under par. It's rather unfortunate of uh, what's transpired on hole number 11th for Hani Basoya. But, uh, uh, yes, but uh, a two shot deficit means uh, he fi finds himself tied second with two different people, which is Akshay and Sachin. Jairaj, the Tri City locals. Superstar in the new making is uh, finding himself in a very comfortable position right now. So, supremely well played by uh, Jairat Sandhu throughout uh, the tournament. And uh, as he's drawing close alongside his playing partners towards the end of the round four for the 2023 Haryana Open powered by Wonder Cements. This will be his uh, time to shine and uh, probably distance himself a little bit more for his first, very, very first title.
different players should need to stay calm and composed before their round. Uh, each player has their own way of going about it. And uh, it's very, very important to stay focused, but at the same time, stay comfortable, nice and loose so that the kind of nervous energy that can be there just before starting a round is taken care of and is out of the way. Here's a look at how different players uh, stay loose and uh, still warmed up at the same time as Sachin Basuya opting to pick up two clubs and make it a little more difficult and deliberate to turn and stay loose and warmed up before the round goes and uh, play for the day has commenced. So different options, different ways, that's uh, a strong bond between uh, Father son being projected over there. Good to see support and acknowledgement of what's going to happen and transpire in front of you. And that was a very good part hold out by Abhijit Singh Chanda on hole number 15, who is twinning with his playing partner, the Old War Horse, which is up and striding towards. Injury free times uh, is Rahil Ganji. Rahil with a stress fracture has recovered and has is back to his playing privileges. Jo ban kar mera ham safar aayega, sirf usi ko fark nazar aayega. Shuru karo, dalo buniyan. घर महल नजर आएगा वंडर लाई है वंडर नहीं फर्क नजर आएगा वंडर सीमेंट फर्क नजर आएगा That's a wonderful shot on hole number 14. That's a beautiful approach. Very rightly, correctly measured. From the left side on this hole, which you would assume is the better way to approach this hole. And uh, now we watch Pratik Sharma, who would love to repeat what we just saw. Not as fabulous as the previous shot that we covered, but a, pre a, a pretty decent effort on that hole given how difficult it is to get to that whole location yes and uh, in from a very different angle is karan pata the more right you cover up on the dog leg of hotel hole number 14 the shorter your approach or comes out to be but that ball seems to have released further bit more than he would have liked that could be the effect of the ball not being in the fairway but in the first cut and Karan would actually have to manipulate and uh, figure out a way to to part from very far out. Not only is he very far out, but it's a downhill part with two different tiers in place. And yes, and for the viewers who are uh, new to golf, uh, when your golf ball is not in the fairway, what happens is that the grass 
comes in between the club face and the goal ball, which tends to lead to a lesser spin on the ball, which means that when it lands in the green, it rolls out a little bit more, as we saw with Karan's approach there. And uh, as you watch the lovely views of the golf course with the strict competition that is going on and the different leaders and change in leaders through the day and through two days that we've watched. Um, here we are presenting the Haryana Open 2023, which is presented to you by Wonder Cement from Panchkulla Golf Club. And uh, we're making our way to the close of this, the finish of this tournament. And uh, here's a look at the tournaments to come forth. Um, right after the Haryana Open, we have the Jeep Milka Singh Invitational uh, at a strong price purse of 1.5 CR, uh, the neighboring golf course of Chandigarh Golf Club, which would be followed by the IOC Masters 2023 in Dig Boy, which would be then followed by the big price purse event at the prestigious DLF Golf and Country Club, the Kapil Dev Grand Thornton Invitational in Guru Gram. And then moving on to the one of the oldest golf courses in the world, mm -hmm. indeed, uh, the RCGC Golf Club, the SSP Charasia Invitational. And then we would move our way back up north to the pink city, Jaipur, for the Jaipur Open for another prize purse of 1CR. And uh, this entire race is for the season and uh, the Tata Steel Tour Championship, which will be played in Jamshedpur for a massive price purse of three crores. It would be an event where all the players are trying to get to the top 60, make it to that event, and would all these players love to get there and have a shot at that title. As we watch Karan Pratap Singh on hole number 15 with his birdie attempt, uh, Karan Pratap, as we remember, is one of the top three players in the order of overall order of merit and uh, comes a little short, it would seem, down those tiers, but he won't be too disappointed with that effort. He had two tiers to battle and tackle there. Now we take a look at uh, what would be a better position to putt from for uh, Kartik Sharma. Under the hole, he still has uh, a tear and some uphill to tackle, but should be an easier putt than what Karan had. And uh, he probably thought it was quicker than what it really was. So he's left it a little short. He's got a little some tester coming back for his bar there on number 14. Following his playing partners, now we have Arjun Prasad. When the, he's had one of the better approaches in number 14 that we've seen. He's got a relatively makeable birdie part, and would he like to make that? Yes, he would. Right in the middle of the hole. As a few spectators have appreciated that part. And a little fist pump with his carry. He's, he'd want to finish this tournament strong. As one of his closer friends, Amun Raj, has certainly made a big move up the leaderboard as he's four under par through his 15 today, and he's moved up in the top 10. Oh, I'm sorry, rather just outside the top 10. He's tied 11th at 10 under par. And uh, Karthik now with his uh, deliberate uh, routine and deliberate system, taking a few careful practice swings.
Now we have a look. And Kapil Kumar of hole number 15. A similar spot to where Abhijit Singh Chadda made his putt from. As you can see, he's, he seems to be lined up fairly straight or maybe just a little outside on the right. Yeah, that part took a late break. And now he's been having a better time on the greens. Would like to roll this in. I think he's on a simpler line than what Kapil was. He seems to be a little shy of being flag high, which would mean that he could have a slight uphill, a fairly straightforward part. Now let's see what he ends up doing. Let's hope he doesn't end up disappointing us. And oh, while we are watching, uh, Honey has come back strong. He picked up the two shots that he dropped. Jairaj making a par on number 12 and Honey doing what Honey does best, making an eagle on number 12. And now he's back to being one of the co-leaders at 17 under par. Akshay Sharma also could only manage a par on number 12. And uh, Sachin Bisoy, on the other hand, managed a lovely birdie on number 12, followed by a par on number 13. So now we have two guys sitting at 15 under par. And two guys, as were before hole number 11, sitting at uh, 17 under par in the lead. Angad now, he probably saw there was a little more break than it was. Uh, his, his expression says that he thought that's going to come back. So, we would indicate a good stroke made, but also the wrong read. As couple would now like to clean up for his par number 15. Sachin now on hole number 14. Seems to be prime position for him. Middle of the fairway. He would be eyeing that flagstick all over. He plays a nice little draw and uh, a little more draw than he would have liked. And He got the distance right there, but a little too much movement means he's going to be flag high, but he's still going to be a little away for his birdie. Abhinav also, Abhinav sitting pretty at uh, 13 under par. Also on the fairway, probably a better position on the fairway than uh, Sachin was. Opens up the right side a little more. Takes a healthy swipe, I've added. Seems to be not moving as much, and that's a beautiful goal shot by him. It's probably the best position you can leave yourself on hole number 14 too. Try making a birdie. You can see some people walking by in the sidelines in the rough. It means some spectators are out there, and you could see in the background the leader group playing. There are a few more spectators back around there as well. So, beautiful sight, some lovely golf being played. That uh, gold ball in the front right of the green would indicate that's the third member of the group, which should be Raj Singh Sandhu. And uh, as we can see on our screens, he's walking up the left side of that hole from the rough. 
and uh, here's a view of the golf course and what it looks like seems a lot narrower from this view and this would be the 10th hole very narrow daunting tee shot most of the times It's currently a top five, as we see. Jairaj and Hani have been exchanging blows uh, the entire day, while Akshay Sharma has fallen a little back. But uh, he still finds himself only two shots behind uh, the leaders. And Sachin also, as we just watched him hit his approach on number 14. He's got a long attempt for birdie, but he's also trying to catch the leaders. जब मैं बड़ा होऊंगा ना छोटी सीधी सड़क बनाऊंगा खेत से मंडी तक जब मैं बड़ी होऊंगी ना तो हर जगह एक एयरपोर्ट बनाऊंगी और जब थोड़ा और बड़ा होऊंगा ना तो एयरपोर्ट से मेट्रो बनाऊंगा मैं हर गली में दुकान बनाऊंगी इसका मतलब जब बड़े होंगे तो हम देश बनाएंगे तुम जब बड़े होगे सो होगे पर अभी तुम्हारे पापा देश बनाए और मैं ही नहीं वो सब जिन्होंने मशीनें बनाई जिन्होंने मशीनें बेची वो सब हम सब कर्तव्य निभा रहे कल तुम भी निभाओगे जैसी सोच वैसा देश और जब सोच कर्तव्य बनती है तो देश बनता भी है और बढ़ता भी है आओ कर्तव्य निभाए चलो देश बनाए टाटा हिटाची चलो देश बनाए both Om Prakash and uh, Angad were on the correct tier. So not only does he have to contend with the distance, which is lengthwise, but he also has to take in factor the severity of the downside hill step down where the ball will have to travel towards the hole. So all in all, a very difficult two part coming up for Sachin. Yes, as we see, he's taking his time on this one. To make sure everything is in order. Um, and also, I'd like to ask you something. Do you think uh, after that double, when Hanis made that uh, eagle and bounced right back, do you think that brings back momentum in his favor and uh, Jairaj might be slightly deflated because he could only manage a par on that par five? Or do you think that uh, it is still even Stevens and mentally both of them are sure that they can clinch it? Well, it's a very, very uh, strong, bold move by Hani Basaya for because from a misstep to a giant leap towards the correct direction is what Hani has done. Pretty much how he works about in his life also. Uh, very carefree and uh, bashful way of going about. And uh, that has been displayed on his scorecard with the double bogey followed by an absolute delightful eagle on the very next hole so yes such a uh, sorry uh honey and Gerard both at the top of the leaderboard at 17 and par have uh, each other to contend with from the looks of it as the move by honey has uh made things a little more interesting for Gerard things on the and then we watch abhinav now, when to line up his buddy in Yubraj, actually coming up a little short there. Uh, he seems a little more deflated. That was then the attempt. I think he's done a fairly good job. But I think by his standards that he runs by for himself, he'd probably see everything uh, on the green despite the distance to go in the bottom of the cup.
Esa Lohan seems to be finding the mojo back with his putter with that long distance putt. Interesting to see as uh, the tournament of Haryana Open 2023 is drawing towards a conclusion. It's a two man horse race going between uh, Hani Basoya and Jairat Singh Sandhu. Yes, you know, but uh, I won't be too surprised because I think we were a little too premature to say it was a two man race because Akshay Sharma's bounced back with uh, a birdie on number 13 and the only one in his uh, group, which would mean that now we have Hani Besoy and Jairat Singh Sandhu at 17 under, but Akshay Sharma is looming right back up at 16 under as well. So, not too much between the three. And not to forget, Sachin Besoya is right behind uh, all three of them at 15 under. So, not much between the top four at least. Yes, and uh, the stretch of 14, 15, 16 is uh, definitely a stretch where one can pick up quick shots as 14th is a relatively simple par 4. Just need to be very careful with the tee shot. But uh, 15th being a par 5 and uh, 16th being a short par 3, par 4, offer up body, body opportunities for most of the field. So, would be interesting to see how both these, sorry, not only both these players, but uh, from uh, players sitting comfortable in terms of Sachin Basoya at 15, Akshay at 16, and both the leaders at 17 and the par do. In fact, as we speak in the center of the fairway, we could have seen the 14th hole. And as the galleries are making their way towards the pretty much center of the fairway is what is happening is quite uh, amazing how much how, okay, all the spectators spectators are in the middle of the gallery. I can see the referees walking around and pushing them away as uh, play can be disturbed. And uh, it is actually distracting for the players to see so much of movement happening in the middle of the fairway. Either side of the fairway, it's absolutely acceptable, but this is a bit of a rare commodity where you see spectators moving about in the center of the fairway. But you know, I still appreciate the fact that so many people have actually turned up to watch the event and it can only give an encouragement to the players and they're getting some, they're definitely getting their uh, value for time in because um, they're following the leader groups and they're following the players playing ahead of them as well and all, all these guys are uh, quite strongly under par and they don't seem to be letting up at all and looking to make more birdies and what's not to enjoy if uh, it's not for these players so it's a beautiful sight to see so many people out there on the golf course and also joined us live watching this coverage yeah it's actually good support and uh momentum change for the players who will be picked up by the galleries as we find El Prasad's approach or a lifting pole behind those palm trees should have relatively easier easy chip coming up to the hole. The pink hole is the path by which we were just referring to. Can provide a CS strike towards moving up in the leaderboard and uh, Well, with a stretch of only five holes left with the leaders, it is uh, getting closer and more boxed up with what is looking to be a very exciting finish towards the end half of the Haryana Open 2023, powered by Wonder Simmons. As you watch uh, in the center of our screen, is Akshay Sharma in a slight spot of bother. On hole number 14, uh, not coming in from the right angle, coming out of the rough. 
I think uh, center of the green, uh, hopefully anywhere around flag high should be a great shot from here as he changes his clubs because he uh, needs to be very precise with what he ends up doing here because now he can, after that birdie on number 13, I think he'll be very sure that he definitely has a shot at this title. It's coming in. He sent it very high in the end, and uh, that's a very, very good shot. Yeah, the same territory where uh, Yuvraj was, and uh, maybe with a little adrenaline, he could actually get the putt up there. And he's given himself a birdie opportunity from that spot, which is impressive. Uh, now we watch Honey from the left side of the rough. Oh, sorry, it's uh, Yuvraj uh, yeah. first. Yeah. First going of course, very far. He's taken most of the trouble out of play. Jairaj has hit a good approach shot, just slipping away off the green. Would have looked very dangerous <laughs> mid-air, <laughs> getting the bunker into play, but uh, would now have a very simple chip and part left for the whole. And before we could get the cameras moving towards Sunny Masoya, he has lost his ball. And uh, we would soon come to know where that ball, ball has ended. And he's one of the quicker players on tour. Uh, we can't spot the golf ball, but uh, when they make their way to the green, we'll, we'll figure it out. And yes. Karan Pratap Singh on the feed two to the right on your screens. Yes, sir. Relatively simple uh, chip and putt for birdie is what I would presume. I think he's disappointed with that shot. And uh, our apologies. Uh, we said that Sachin Basoya had made a par on number 13. He actually made a bogey, which means that uh, tied fourth position held by Sachin and Abhinav both are now at 14 under par, two shots behind Akshay Sharma, who sits third alone. And uh, as we were with our leaders, both Jairaj and Hani at 17 under par, playing the 14th currently. Yes, and uh, as you can see in the live feeds, uh, Hani has uh, ended up a little further away than he would have anticipated, preparing his pitch mark. Very crucial time in the final stages of the round where not only both the leaders are tied at the similar score at 17 under par, but they also have the man who has been leading most of the way, which was yesterday, Akshay Sharma joining and getting back into hot pursuit. Akshay, as we just saw, got into a hot run yesterday in the back nine and is similarly threatening to do so, so could bring himself back into the mix and uh, getting back into contention mode again. Yeah, absolutely, because uh, Akshay seems to be doing, following the exact pattern that he did yesterday by making birdies in the back nine and uh, in the later half of the day, which means that him being one shot behind is a threat to the leaders. And as we said, we thought that it could be a two-man uh, race when they open up a three-stroke lead over the field, but then a lot has changed. And certainly Honey making that double on number 11, uh, dented his chances a little, but he bounced back with a birdie, sorry, an eagle on number 12. And uh, Jairaj has not uh, managed to drop a birdie in the back nine, but he's also not dropped a shot, so he's going steady. But I think that the momentum currently is with Akshay, and he seems to be the one pulling out the flat stick right, and also he's... Uh, May making a few more uh, putts and hitting a few. Yes, Akshay has made a few birdies, but alongside his drop percentage of shots is very heavy. So, as soon as he picks up a few shots, he just relinqu relinquishes them back by making a few bogeys. As if you look at his scorecard, he's he's birdied four different holes, but those drop shots have cost him very dearly on hole number one, four, and eight. Yes, uh, but you know, you can also attribute it to maybe a few nerves here and there. And now in the back nine, he's not dropped a shot and he's made birdies comfortably. 
which means that uh, a birdie in the next couple of holes, it should make this tournament all the more interesting. I mean, I know it's too soon to say this, but Aditya, do you think we are heading towards a playoff? The birdie opportunity is available and... Completely outpip each other. Listen, Karan, on the left side of the screens, finally has the flat stick working well for him. He's uh, had a little fist bump there with the putt that he's made. He would have been very disappointed if he hadn't he gotten that uh, up and down. Yes, he had left himself at a very good foot uh, angle for that chip coming in. And here's a look at what uh, Akshay has in store. Fairly lengthy putt and a bit of a <clears throat> contour on the green in terms of a step up where the ball is going to jump up to a different tier. And he's done a good job of uh, lagging it within three feet of the hole. Yeah, similar result to what uh, Yuvraj could manage, leaving it a little short of the hole. And uh, Honey now has a putt left. Uh, I mean, not too sure if that's for his par or his birdie, but my guess would be for his par because I he's think he went a little over. Definitely very prepared his switch marks for I would One would presume that he's hit it out onto the green in three, and this is his par attempt, a very crucial part coming up for him. Yes, he'd love to make that because uh, from what it seems like, Jairaj is just off the green, but he's closer than Honey for his birdie. So you would imagine that this at this stage of the tournament would be a very crucial part. But it's not only just crucial for Honey, and he has done a tremendous job of pulling it, but a drop shot by Honey Basoya would uh, mean that uh, it is only a one-man show at top, and uh, everybody would be eyeing that up. Versus if it's a two two-man race happening. You can strive off and rub off the positive energy of each other and get it to better. And you know, as uh, far as golf is concerned, a lot of the times, even if players make a two footer of a par compared to someone making a 12 footer, even though the score is the same, a lot of the times the person making the longer part has the momentum with them. Just gives them that little uh, extra confidence and that little step up in walking up to the next team, maybe that little extra speed in their drives and Akshay making that par comfortably. Akshay Sharma seems to be a little more prepped up in his strides now. Yes, uh, Akshay would be thinking about the coming up holes, which will definitely give them a realistic look to make birdies and catch up on or move ahead and clear off each other. As uh, with the relatively difficult 14th out of the way, 15th and 16th is where we will we should be able to watch a bit of a change happen as both holes do provide birdie opportunities but need excellent tee shots to begin with because the tee shots are heading into a very narrow opening as you watch angad angad in my opinion has been the most consistent with the flat stick over the last two days so won't be surprised if he gives us a good run here as well And seems to have left it a little short. I think uh, the greens in the back half, round four, seem to be troubling him as well as we saw him miss a uh, relatively makeable part on the 15th. first look at hole number 17 with our order of merit leader Om Prakash Chauhan yes uh, Om Prakash having a bit of a struggle on the putting green but a not behaving to the normals 
sequencing what we are used to watching with the uh, opera cards but uh, such is the nature of this game uh, sometimes uh, we do not get the desired results of what we are intending and uh, with some really big tournaments coming up in forms of mr jeep milka singh invitational uh, brand thornton and uh, the season in the tour championship i'm sure oh, prakash would be looking to put some more daylight as the leading money leader on the professional golf tour of india's order of merit for 2023 so i couldn't agree more and you know what this is probably the best time for uh, any golf from the pgti to come into form and these are the events where you want to prove your mettle and you want to play well and show all your skills because these are the events that are going to propel you to move towards that top 60 ranking which is so important for you to get into that big event the season under which will be in jamshedpur and uh, yuvraj now on the 15th uh, has to go over the bunker but i think he has some green to work with yeah there is enough green to work around with a little perplexed by what's happening in the backdrop the car a moving object in the backdrop can definitely disturb anybody so he's requesting them to move along and uh, can focus back on to his shot yes yeah. it's it's a relatively easy up and down for him uh, not just because he's got the talent to do that but uh, the flag stick is for the pack today on hole number 15th and which gives the players a lot of room to let the ball drop on the green and release you know after regrouping gathering himself as expected he's played a wonderful little shot it's about three three and a half feet short of the flag it shouldn't be an issue for a player like him yeah. and that would mean that uh he would make a birdie on number 15. you raj as well i was having a having an impressive push in the beginning of the round started with the birdie birdie made a bogey and then made another couple of birdies but i think his charge was dented by that double on number 8 and since he's come back with two birdies but he's quite a few strokes behind with not many holes left as he's at 13 under par four shots behind both honey and jairaj who will shortly make their move on hole number 15 and uh, on our live feed to we take a look the center of the fairway we have Varun Pradap measuring his approach on number 16 And with a fairly lengthy birdie putt coming up, up for uh, Lohan, uh, he would be looking to make that and make a big stride towards the leaders as he did on the previous hole. Uh, wasn't as quick as he would have thought on that.
Sachin had a look for his birdie. He's sitting at 15 under par and uh, he makes this. He would have jumped towards 16 and wow, that he got up and out of that. That means he wasn't happy with the stroke which he put. Sachin was already 40, 4 under par for his round, could have used that putt and uh, advanced his chances towards his second title. So interestingly, Sachin would have thought at the beginning of the day, if he shoots around a 4-5 under, he should have uh, climbed closer to the leader. The leaders themselves are having a very low round and a very strong Sunday, uh, sorry, strong Saturday going for them. As uh, Yuvraj takes a careful look after that wonderful pitch shot. You would uh, assume that this should not be much of a problem for him. And uh, wonderfully done so. And Karan, as he watched his approach come a little short, just over the bunker, he would, uh, he's 100% thinking that this is going in. And I doubt that he's going to leave it short. He's absolutely uh, 16. Is a realistic body opportunity, but uh, comes up a little bit short, underborrowed the break. Uh, nonetheless, a very simple par attempt left for him. Definitely what not what uh, Karan was intending towards, but uh, a four on any hole, which is the par for that hole, is something which you can live by. Nohan looking to clean up for his reasonably lengthy par attempt than he would have liked. Starting moving on to his ball on number 16, or we could assume is for a birdie. Yes, makes it with ease. Lohan and uh, Karthik's ball comes up a little short. As the day is progressing, the greens are getting slower, uh, slightly so slower as well. Yeah, that does happen when the greens of grass over a period of time start to lengthen up. The greens do get a little bit slower, but uh, I guess uh, the greens have played a bit of a tricky mistress for the players as the borrows on the greens have not made it simple or easy at all for the players to part other than what Hani, Yuvraj, Akshay are doing <laughs> is a different story. But uh, yes. Well, I think this final round, this uh, hole number 15 for the leaders is going to be key because it's a par 5. And uh, if anybody ends up not making a birdie, it could dictate terms for the next three holes as well because 16, 17, 18 are not as easy to score on and uh, as we watch Arjun as has been the case uh, barring that one putt that he made on number 14 he's been struggling with the short game and flat stick on this day yes uh, nothing short of a heartbreak with what we just saw is what it feels when ball horseshoes like that and uh, the pro tracer exactly showcasing where that ball ended up left of its intended target as the players were also signaling that same effect. On the 18th, when a look at Om Prakash's ball flight down the middle, quick pickup and the pro tracer depicting that beautifully. काफी महत्वपूर्ण समय इस टूर्नामेंट का आ चुका है जबकि मात्र चार होल बचे हैं डिसाइड करने के लिए कौन विनिंग ट्रॉफी अपने साथ लेके जाएगा और किस प्लेयर के नाम हस्ताक्षरित किए जाएंगे उस ट्रॉफी पे तो जो भी हमसे अभी जुड़ रहे हैं देखिए और लुफ्त उठाइए बेहतरीन गोल्फ आपके शहर में खेली जा रही है बहुत ही उम्दा खिलाड़ियों द्वारा और काफी 
पास और निकटतम है वो समय जबकि निर्णय लिया जाएगा कौन किसको हराकर नंबर एक श्रेणी का खिलाड़ी बनता है इस हफ्ते के लिए This is steel and this is an idea. What happens when we join them? Something fantastic. Like Pravesh doors that never age, that save our forests, or customizable artifone wardrobes that match your personality and are redefining modern homes. <laughs> tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow.
Yeah, Hani Basoya would have uh, definitely wanted to give it a stronger rap so that he could have at least tried for the ball to go past the hole. As uh, 15th is a par 5 and most of the players would have been looking to birdie and ferry their chances of getting better or racing ahead of each other. And here's a look at uh, Abhinav Lohan, who was trying to ferry his uh, approach shot on what would appear to be and the 16th hole. Uh, usually, he's very good with his wedges. Yes. Leaning left seems he's probably leaked it a little right. The flag stick is stuck towards the right hand side, and a little right leak from him is probably two yards right of the hole. So, yes, uh, it's a very good uh, angle. I mean, I'm uh, foxing the commentators and the viewers there, uh, misleading us by believing he's pushed it out way to the right, but he's about six feet for birdie. Yeah, and uh, you were not seeing coming out from the fairway, but it has got a tighter angle to come in, but a much shorter shot. So, Expect this ball to be a little closer and give himself a realistic birdie. But he's also coming off the downhill a little, so that just adds to the degree of difficulty for him. And he's peppered it right over the flag and he's given himself a good opportunity for birdie. Yes, absolutely. That would have looked so good in the air as it bounced right next to the hole and uh, has released a fair bit distance away from the flag stick. So somewhere in the vicinity of 18 feet is what he's got left for himself for birdie on that hole. Yes, and you'd have to give it a good uh, heave to, to take a look at it because uh, it's usually slower. And uh, now we are waiting on what the leaders would do on hole number 15. And as we watch, Jairaj is the one to have made a birdie and uh, pushed ahead of the pack. And now things have become very interesting because 17th, 18th are not easy to birdie. 16th also is uh, not, it's it's a fair chance, but it's it's not one of the easiest golf holes. So, Jairaj, if he can hold on to this lead, he might just pull through. Yes, uh, 16th does provide a birdie opportunity, but requires a very tight tee shot. So, let's see what transpires over there. My real concern is the severity that hole number 18th possesses and uh, as you can see Kapil coming up from a fair, fair bit distance away from the hole with his putt and has at least hit it past the flag stick but uh, reasonable distance to cover for his par attempt. Yes, he seems to have rammed it a little more than he would have liked and What we stand now, I, I have a feeling that Jairaj is not going to make an error. And if uh, Hani or Akshay want to catch him, they would have to make birdies of their own. Um, and 16 would probably be the best opportunity they have before they hit the uh, 17th and 18th. Well, it'll be interesting time to see how the correct uses of adrenaline will be possessed and used by both the players in terms of Jairaj trying to break through the door and seal his first victory and uh, Hani Basoya trying to 
catch up to him and uh, making sure that he is still in the fight and is giving a run for the money which is set up for the first position and that's a very good power attempt by Angad Chima. <laughs> More of a acknowledgement that okay, job's done and uh, that was a good up and down because uh, the tee shot which he had hit had put him in all sorts of trouble but a very good recovery shot and the up and down and a lengthy power attempt has made him at least leave the 18th hole with uh, not dropping a shot which as of today 18th will be a very good position to be not dropping a shot Nice and comfortable would uh, like to follow suit with Anger than hold his power attempt. Yes, uh, uh, if he makes this two putt, he would have pretty much covered the green end to end with his putter in two strokes because he had a sizable uh, first putt coming up from the front half of the borrows and has just a bit under it. Well, that's going to leave a uh, sour taste in the mouth going into lunch now. Yes, uh, such a, sorry, uh, Kapil has not had the best of days with his putter. He hit the ball quite solid, but unfortunate that the putter was misbehaving. But if you look at the track record of Kapil, putter is something which has been troubling him from breaking through for his first title. I'm sure it's a matter of time when he gets a grab and a hold of it as Abhinav Lohan has birdied hole number 16 with the simplest of ease. So yes, it is possible to birdie hole number 16. It's just a matter of hitting the tee shot and the measured approach which was beautifully depicted and explained how by Abhinav Lohan on hole number 16th. Yes, we have a realistic opportunity for the leader group on number 16 as well. But uh, if Jairaj manages to bury this, you would assume that even with a one stroke lead, he has a very good opportunity going into 17 and 18, and Sachin makes a comfortable stroke and moves on to the 17th. And we see, as we have been for the past uh, two days, we are presenting the Haryana Open 2023, which is brought to you by Wonder Cement, live from the Panchkulla Golf Club. And uh, this is one of the first, first of the two events in the Tri-City. From here, we'll move on to the G. Milka Singh Invitational in the Chandigarh Golf Club. And uh, Panchkulla has been a wonderful host. And... Playing conditions have been great and the players have not disappointed because of the scoring and the level of golf that they've showcased that they often do week in, week out. And we are closing in towards the finish of this wonderful event. And those look at the current order of rankings for the season of 2023. Om Prakash uh, leading the charge at 79 lakhs. In close pursuit is Aman Raj, 55 lakhs, 45,300. And uh, Karan Pratap is positioned himself very nicely at third position, which is 37 lakhs. Sachin is in hot pursuit with 36 lakhs. And uh, Zaman Hussain, from Bangladesh, the first international player in the top five, sorry, in the top 10, is sitting pretty at 29 lakhs. Gaurav Pratap Singh sitting at 28 lakhs, unfortunately missing out due to some family emergency this week. And uh, N. Thangaraja, Sri Lankan-based professional golfer, is the second international player who is at uh, 26 lakhs. 
Now, Akshay could remedy that and uh, surpass him because a mere 2,000 rupees is less than 2,000 rupees is what, sorry, uh, exactly to about 2,200 rupees is what separates Akshay and Panga Raja at uh, eighth position. And Akshay is set up to pick up a decent check this week. And uh, the youngster Sunit Vishnoi is at eight, ninth position at 42 lakhs. Harinder Gupta at 21 lakhs. 93,275 rupees is the 10th position holder after the JNK Open. So there will be a few changes over here and uh, look for them to happen very soon as uh, Akshay is playing well enough to jump up and uh, so is Sachin. And here is a look at our leaders who made their way towards the 16th green. Jairaj marking his ball at a sizable distance, what one can only presume would be his birdie opportunity. This, if this has to go, and this would really put a. Okay, this this would, uh, in my opinion, put one hand on the title for Jairal if he is able to make this one go in. Yeah, if this putt goes in, he has definitely got uh, his eyes set on the target, and uh, which he's been doing for the most of the round. And let's see what the flash stick has to offer for the young man. And this is out. Would have looked so nice. Uh, throughout the entirety of that role and is Akshay trying to repair the pitch marks and the wobbles in front of his what I would presume is a birdie opportunity from a relatively shorter distance from Jairaj. So 16th hole is quite crucial as uh, Hani Basoya also seems to have uh, found the correct year and is not very far away from the Hole. Yes, and Jairaj missing that part uh, gives Hani and Akshay a slight open door scenario where if both of them were to make a birdie, uh, Hani would move up with the Kohli at 18 under and Akshay would just be a stroke behind. So, and on our life, we too, we have uh, Arjun Prasad making his way onto the 18 to finish. Uh, yeah, a decent job for four days. Imagine from the first left hand side, the swivel of the knees suggests that just a little bit under borrowed by Akshay Sharma on hole number 16 means that he's missed out on his what we would appear to see as his birdie opportunity. So it is now for Hani to answer the call and uh, let's see what is in store for the man who is sitting at 17 under par. This will be a crucial part for Hani. He makes a beautiful stroke right in the middle of the hole. Yes, and the fist pump and acknowledgement between the player and the caddy would recommend or suggest that it is a birdie putt and could mean we again have a two-man horse race amongst ourselves at 18 under par. 18 under par is the current lowest winning title held by the Sri Lankan superstar Mithun Pereira, who is also the defending champion for this coveted title, which happened roughly about 12 years back in 2011. So... A relatively difficult par 317 and an extremely difficult par 418 is what stands in between the two people who are trying to outpip each other at 18 under par, which is Jairaj Singh Sandhu and Hani Basoya. Jairaj Marx puts his ball in the middle and walks away what we would presume to be a par.
Kind of now lining up his approach to number 18. And he's wonderfully put it a little under the hole on the right side. Uh, we'll have a good look at Birdie to finish his proceedings for this event in round four. Yes, and as the updates have uh, been projected up, the race is again between the two steady horses which have been trading blows between each other in terms of the leaders, which is Hani Basoya and Jairaj Singh Sandhu. Both have been playing top-notch golf, if, and both are already respectively six and five under par for their rounds, which is Honey and Jairaj respective, respectively. And uh, it's number seventeenth and eighteenth, the all crucial decision makers between the leaders. Yes, and now we watch. Uh, seems we have enough hands. Turn on number 17, he seems to have found a little form back with his flat stick. So we'd enjoy watching him giving it, giving this a good uh, little roll. Yes, and all these beautiful uh, live, live telecasts of professional golf happening in Panchkula for the Haryana 2000 Open. 2023 Open powered by Wonder Cement is a result of the tie-up between the media giant ABP and uh, Professional World Tour of India for taking Indian golf global and making it available for you in the comforts of your home, office, wherever you're watching it from. Stay tuned, stay glued as two-man horse race is getting even further more exciting between Ani and Jairat Singh Sandhu as both of them find themselves at 18 under par respectively trying to overthrow or outrun each other. They're both playing some wonderful golf as well and Jairat is uh, blemish free on the day he's he's playing bogey free and uh, he's made five birdies and Ani on the other hand actually has made uh, six birdies and an eagle. But that one double bogey has costed him uh, a big dent, but he could still pull it off and win and maybe it doesn't matter. Or maybe Jairaj pushes through, makes a couple of birdies and wins it for himself. And it'll be interesting to see how things finish. Or maybe Akshay Sharma still has something to say about this tournament. Yes, all three scenarios are very, very possible. And... Uh... More likely than not, it would be either or between Hani or Jairaj, as they both are two shots clear of the leading man, oh, sorry, the chasing man in terms of Akshay Sharma. As we have a look at uh, Arjun Prasad on hole number 18, he finds himself in the similar territories of Kapil Sharma, Kapil found it a little difficult to manage the entirety of the length of this green because uh, both Kapil and Arjun's ball are in the front half of the green and they have pretty much the entire green to cover up with. So it will take most of their playing abilities into account and uh, test out their strokes. Yeah, certainly as we see the ball coming up through that big tier and He's done a much better job of it than uh, Kapil managed from there, and he certainly won't be making three. He certainly not, won't be making three part on that. Yes, not only has he hit a good part, but he's hit anything better than that would be in the bottom of the hole. So a tremendous lag part by Arjun Prasad for a relatively very very simple but uh, par attempt. What we just saw on hole number 17, what presumably Yuvraj birding in hole number 17 is what, what it appeared like. Oh, it could be we'd, be, we'd have an update on that soon, but if he has managed to do that, that would mean that 
he's made uh, birdie on number 15, 16, and uh, maybe 17. We'll get back on that. But he's already made four birdies on the back nine, and he's also going strong at five under par. That double on the eighth also sort of washed away his chances, you would feel, because of the way Honey and Jairaj are showcasing their birdie sprees at the top of the leaderboard. There's an ample amount of birdies available, but these big numbers for uh, Lohan and Yuvraj respectfully have uh, derailed their chances and a very strange, yes, a very strange miss for uh, Abhinav Lohan from that way. I think now what uh, we would assume was for a par because... Yes, definitely it would have been a par part because uh, he chipped from the pretty much front edge of the green and uh, overshot the hole, which is actually a better idea because it then leaves you uphill part. And uh, these boys are done with the, their respective rounds and which means all they need to do is uh, acknowledge, congratulate each other and uh, submit the scorecards waiting for their tripod in terms of Karan Pratap to send the ball home and also get his round done with on hole number 18. And this would be a fitting little revenge if, he's man if he manages to make it uh, given what he did yesterday on this hole. Yes, he's, he's hit a, definitely a very good approach shot from uh, a fair bit distance away. Oh, that's heartbreaking for him. Uh, yes, all players have deserved it. He's been striking the ball so purely today. And so is the expression by the young man. Hands on the knees. Uh, would have thought that that ball has found the bottom of the hole. But uh, sometimes the golfing gods are uh, have different plans for you. And unfortunately, he misses out on his body attempt. And the sport can be ruthless and cruel, but for its various reasons, we still love it and we still show up and play. And maybe not today, but maybe on another day soon, Karan's going to make these putts and again be in the position that he is in. Yes, absolutely. And uh, another look at that close miss by, for him. Very strange how the ball didn't settle in, but uh, happens. Uh, it's at the end of the day a sport where you can do the best foot for can put the best foot forward, but not get the desired result. No harm, no foul. He's walked away with a par on the hole, and uh, all he now needs to do is get to his favorite venue, which is next week, where he would want to replicate his last year's last performances gestures and pretty much finish at number one spot and the. Uh, and a close look at what the leaders are for the top five for round four of the Haryana Open 2023 is uh, Hani Basoya at 18 under par, who's joined by Jairat Singh Sandhu, also at 18 under par. And uh, third is Akshay Sharma, who is sitting at 16 under par and tied fourth is occupied by Sachin Basoya and Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, who both both of them are at, at 15 under par. Here's the look. Here's a look at the new age technology pro tracer, which gives you an exact look of how the balls have ball flight. The balls have taken on this particular 18th hole by different respective players. A bit of a spot of bother for what happened to Karthik's ball flight, but yes, uh, wonderful, wonderful use of technology. 
and here is another look at our leaders who are on hole number 17th. Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. Trying to get a feel and gauge of what the stroke would require to be for from that distance out. Oh yes, and if Hani's uh, knocked it closer to the hole, and if he has, if he's taking a look at birdie, then I'm, I'm pretty sure Jairaj yeah. is going to give it an aggressive run and try making it. Well, from that far out, uh, the first priority for Jairaj should be to not give a stroke to Hani Basoya willingly. And uh, it's a sizable length, but not only is the ball going to most of the way climb up towards the to a higher elevated uh, location where the flag is, but as it draws closer to the hole, there is a bit of a dive. But as we've just seen, Akshay is marking the golf ball before Jairat Sandhu, so it will give him an absolute bird's eye, hawk-eye view of what the role on the ball would be. Listen, don't just count uh, Akshay out because uh, we've seen before, 18 is not a very easy tee shot. And with the leads in your hand, you don't know how the nerves might work. And Akshay can make one here. He, he definitely is in a good shout for the finish of this event. Yes, stranger things have happened. And uh, can't count, count out. The man who is uh, also in the leaderboard as Akshay Sharma's man comes out to be just a fraction bit short. So I think he's more disappointed is because he was uh, online with that and he just didn't hit it uh, uh, with enough speed. Jairaj would have gotten a good indication of the break and the speed also coming from a similar area. Please yes, watch. Absolutely. Jairaj being very meticulous about the line which he thinks the ball needs to roll over and uh, on life field too, Sachin from too much pole position on this pole, fairway finding job done nicely and uh, here is his approach shot on hole number 18. Well, he just missed the green narrowly, but uh, could seem to be at pretty much uh, the correct tear. So, relatively easy up and down coming up for him. And Jairaj, just like uh, Akshay has uh, hit a brilliant approach part, but uh, has also come up a little bit short. Nonetheless, seventeenth uh, hole is done and dusted for Jairat Sandhu. He's launched his par attempt in, and would be interesting to see what Hani Basoya has to say about this. Well, in terms of where Hani is in this situation, uh, whether it's for a birdie or a par, we'll know shortly. But this putt is of great significance, given where we are in the tournament and the time we are at. Yes, uh, knowing the aggressive nature of this man, I won't be surprised that uh, this is his tee shot and uh, this would be his birdie attempt. Substantial turn and break on this hole. And he manages to sink it. That's beautifully done. And uh, Hani Basoya with that raise of putter would express that that would be a birdie putt. So, If that happens to be the case of what we presume, here's a look at what Yuvrat Sandhu has to say for his approach shot from the middle of the fairway on 18th. And he is at a very, very measured approach shot. We'll have a relatively very simple birdie putt coming up on 18th hole. Yuvraj's chances were derailed by an unfortunate double bogey on hole number 18th as he's made... Uh, 
late birdies as what it would resume. And just that double bogey has derailed him from contending. Now, with eager breaths, not only do the spectators, but we also here in the AVP studio com box await to see what has transpired on hole number 17. Yeah, we'll really take a look at the penultimate group being off on number 18 with the pro tracers. And we watch uh, Abhinav Rohan signaling that he missed it to the left a little, and Yuvraj was down in the middle from where we saw his approach as well. And uh, here we have an update now. Honey has taken this tournament and he's put a hand and a half on the title by making a birdie on number 17 and uh, taking a one-stroke lead over Jairaj. Now, Jairaj would probably have to play this 18th a little more aggressively than he probably would have wanted. Yes, absolutely, Honey stamping his authority of uh, being a prolific player and a multiple tournament winner, making life further more difficult for the youngster, Jairaj Singh Sandhu, to get on to his breakthrough win. Let us have a look at what the leaders are sitting at the top 10 pole positions. Honey was so yeah, cementing himself at 19 and the par after 17 holes, 71 hole, holes done and dusted. It's only the 18th which goes about to stay. Jairaj is a short back at 18 under par, Akshay Sarma 16 under par. A duo of Sachin Basoya and Yuvraj Singh Sandhu find themselves at 15 under par, tied fourth. Lohan standalone sixth position at 14 under par. Angad and uh, Karan Pratap Singh are tied 7th at 12 under par, respectively. And uh, Yashas M. Chandra, the Bangalore superstar, is at 10 under par, tied with one of the bigger names in the field, Rahil Kenji. Both of them find themselves tied 9th with another superstar, Om Prakash Chauhan. So, here's a look at the top 10 of the Haryana Open, which has been presented by Wonder Simmons. And yes, and from what we've seen, uh, we haven't seen any birdies on number 18 from our top 10 today, so which would mean that it's a difficult hole to make a birdie on, which yeah. would also mean that if Honey manages to make a part, that could seal it for him. Absolutely. If you look at the hole-by-hole -hole scoring of hole number 18, it is playing way over its par ratio and uh, just showcases the difficulty of that hole. And to make things a little more interesting, uh, the entire landmass of the green has been covered by the tournament director by placing the flag stick as further as away as possible from the front edge. So, yes, 18 is not a hole for the faint-hearted. And uh, so, and you know, the tee shot in itself is also so difficult, despite the approach being not so easy with that flag position and that massive green. That if you don't put yourself in a relatively playable position, uh, your chances of making a birdie are fairly diminished. You're struggling to make par after that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, let's look at Abhinav Lohan, who is taking a very, very decisive look at hole number 18. As one would presume, this would be his third shot. If you were in Honey's position, would you would you play it aggressively because you know Jairaj is going to give it his all to make a birdie there because that's his only option? Or would you just say that, you know what, it's a difficult hole, let me just make my part and uh, let fate take over? Well, seeing Honey for the next number of years and uh, knowing him up close and personally, he heavily relies on aggressive play, not just because that's what his mindset is, but that is how... He has developed his game. He's a very powerful ball striker and uh, distance is something which does not concern him. And uh, the mind frame which he would be in coming after birdie, after making birdies on 16th and 17th, I would highly doubt any other club coming out of the bag by Hani Basoya than his driver. I think uh, he'd do a good job of putting pressure on Jairaj because he's going to be off the tee first. 
And if he manages to find the fairway there, it makes Jairaj's job uh, a little more difficult. And Sachin would be hitting his third shot and uh, has done a brilliant job by lagging it right next to the flagstick. Would have loved to find the bottom of the hole, but uh, not an easy angle as there is a severity of side slope which he would have had to contemplate and uh, take down with. Lohan would have would have definitely not been appreciative of himself because in general scenarios, he is very, very good from the distance which he's hit his third shot from. Fairly lengthy par attempt coming up for him on hole number 18th. Yes, and uh, when I would love to finish by making this and finishing with a par. And what uh, has been a pretty cold display of putting today for him. Not an easy opportunity for Pa, but since it's the end of the day, he would love to make it a finish. And uh, on our screens, as we see in the backdrop, uh, Gerard seems to have found the middle of the fairway. And uh, we'll soon know where uh, Hani and Akshay both are. Akshay seems to have also found uh, pretty much a decent lie. It has, looks like he's way further back than Jairaj. But uh, in the in all right position, which is the front right half of the fairway, or the first cut, which is absolutely okay. Gives him a clear line of shot. And the way the approach part by Lohan has trickled a little away from the hole, and uh, which would mean that a closing bogey will leave a very sour taste for the man as he occupied sole sixth position. But a drop shot would still mean he still has the whole sixth position. So bogey, of course, a sour taste, but uh, no harm, no foul done in terms of his rankings for this event. You see a uh, sizable gallery around the greens. We we'll look at uh, Yuvrat Sandhu who would be looking to make this part and call it the last shot of the day for himself who's had a very good route going under the uh, bo double bogey on hole number 18th. Narrowly misses out on his birdie attempt. Gave it a good wrap. Maybe uh, underborrowed the break on the green a bit. But the kind of player he is, I uh, won't be surprised to see him back on top of the leaderboard uh, the very next week for the GM discussing invitation. Yes, and he'd uh, certainly be eyeing that. And we we'll probably want to take the tournament by the neck on the very first day. As they are going to go through their uh, final few putts and make way for the leaders to come in and see who ends up taking the title. And that's a wrap for uh, Yuvraj as he would be a little bit disappointed by the finish, sorry not the finish, the mid part of his round with that singular hole.
but uh, nonetheless a very impressive finish with him with a five under par on the final day. Yes, absolutely. It's a very good scorecard at five under par. Just that solitude uh, of double bogey on hole number eight would have him a little bit disturbed. And here is uh, the finishing touches from Lohan. Lohan needs to make this to keep his uh, position singular at sixth. And no trouble for Lohan. Sachin's got a slight tap in for himself, and uh, judging by the judging by the screen we have in front of us, it seems like the leader group seems to be roughly around the fairway, all three of them. So interesting to see what Honey and Gerard end up doing for the finish of this event. Sachin taking his time and uh, making sure that he goes through the routine and makes this his last stroke as it is. And uh, not to be for the local superstar, you're not seeing Sandhu this week, but a commendable performance still. And uh, now we're going to watch all eyes, all the spectators. The reason everybody has come here is to watch and see the winner of this beautiful event. Yes, massive gallery is not only uh, behind the green but following the leaders. And uh, as Honey makes his way from somewhat of a troubled shot, it would be interesting to see where that golf ball has ended. As Jairaj is in pole position, middle of the fairway. Yes, he has his eyes set for. Just the flag here. There is nothing else that he's seeing other than that. Next flag, carefully hang it up. Jaraj has uh, hit it um, in a In a comfortable spot, he's left himself with an uphill uh, chip or a putt, whatever he chooses to do. But the distance is sizable. And a massive gallery is following the leaders to see the end result as we have drawn absolutely towards a close of the Haryana Open 2023 presented by One Best Emirates. Fast strides by Hani Basoya, and he's got a putter in his hand. That means he's found the putting green. Which would also mean that, uh, and I think he's going to take his time to make sure that he gets in with a par at worst, which would mean that Jairaj would have to give it a good run to have any chance of uh, giving himself an opportunity for a playoff and clinching the title. And uh, we see Honey marking his ball, the front of the green, which would mean uh, he's going to have to muster all his skill and uh, feel for this part and try to cozy it up. It's an unlikely three from there, but... Yes, he would want to summon all his putting powers and get a putt identical, if not similar, to what uh, Arjun Prasad had just demonstrated. What a fabulous party he had hit from that far out. And uh, Jairaj, on the other hand, has a simplistic chip or part, whatever he chooses. He's got the flat stick out. So that means he wants to give it a quick roll. 
Yes, and as the crowds settle down covering the 18th, all the viewers watching intently as to how this tournament finishes, is this going to be the first win for Jairaj? Will he have a say here, or is this going to be Honey taking another title home as we watch their pro tracers on number 18? Yes, our pro tracer technology giving use of new age cutting edge technology to show the viewers what ball flights have been launched up by respective players. Very comfortable look at uh, at least par is what Jairaj has for himself. But uh, on the other hand, a very tricky long distance birdie putt coming up by our current leader, Ani Basoya. You know, a lot can happen on this part. I mean, if he runs it by a little and uh, Jairaj manages to make his and we've seen that uh, happen a uh, very unlikely stroke by Hani. He's run it up quite a bit, which would mean that Jairaj has a golden opportunity. Yes, uh, Jairaj does hold his own fate in his hands as... Uh, Honey has sizably hit it further away, but uh, it, I won't rule out Honey's power putt to be unrealistic from where he is because he's got pretty much a simplistic uphill putt coming up. It's still quite a fair distance. It's no gimme at all. And if Jairaj makes, uh, ends up making his from that range, it would make things very interesting because Honey would have to then make his to remain in the lead and enter the playoff. Yes, very exciting time at the closing of the Haryana Open 2023 powered by Wonder Cements as a bunch of possibilities are, can be available. A three-way scenario can be possible where uh, Jairaj, if he chips in, can put himself at 19 under par. But too much mathematics and too much permutation combinations available. I mean, Jairaj has to chip it, put it, ch chip it in, Honey miss it, and Jairaj wins, or Honey put, uh, makes a spar attempt. Jairaj does a simple two part, Honey wins, or uh, they, Honey pars, and uh, Jairaj makes a birdie, and it's a playoff. So, so much going on, and yes. uh, we know that Akshay has made a, uh, he's going to tap it in for his spar, I don't know, he's going to mark it, but now we know Akshay has nothing to say in this tournament any further. And it is now down to just these two men, yeah. Jairaj Singh Sandhu and Hani Besoya. Akshay has played his part. Unfortunate, he will still be a little further away from his third title as he's been done doing that for most of the second half. Now is crunch time for the young lad from the Tri-City, Jairaj Singh Sandhu. Yes, and a lot depends on what Hani's part would be for, depending on what Jairaj does here. I don't think he's going to leave it short. He gave it a wonderful run, but just overboarded there. But all in all, a good part given he was just off the green, which would mean that now Hani Besoya has his part to win the title. Here at Panchkulla. He was absolutely Jairaj cleaning up and uh, solidifying his par, which means he has locked in the scorecard of 18 under par. Yeah, good and to see Akshay finishing up and uh, clearing the stage for Honey. Well, yeah, that is uh, an absolute thing.
Dr. Sharma, going through his routine, taking his time. And he managed to make a par. Uh, I would say uh, not a bad round of one under par, but a disappointing finish as he had the lead by two shots in the beginning of the day. And another week goes by where he's performed so brilliantly, but just falls a little short of the title. Yes, uh, another podium finish for Akshay. Not something what he would have been looking for, a third position finish. But uh, now the stage is set for this young man who has got everything to go for. Par attempt coming up for the leader for the tournament. And, uh, and, and uh, as we had uh, predicted... Or one of our predictions was that Honey, uh, from that range, uh, it would be a difficult two-part, which would mean that Jairaj and Honey would now have to enter a playoff. And uh, which would mean that Jairaj still has a shot at his first title and Honey has a shot at winning another one and adding another... The fun continues at the Panchkula Golf Club as uh, both the players have uh, finished their rounds at 18 under par, and which means the playoff is pretty much destined. And would be very interesting to see who outbeats each other as both the boys who have been trading blows with each other or throughout the round of Haryana 2023 Open have uh, finished at 18 under par and playoff is inevitable. So stay tuned and uh, a little bit of elongated anxiety still awaits not only the spectators, the players, but all of us here at the combo com box of at the AVP studios. And look at the leaderboard. Uh, we'll soon have a quick update on that as uh, there'll be a change in the leaderboard. And uh, other than the two-man playoff, uh, Akshay has finished at himself at third position at 16 under par. And Jairat Singh Sandhu, sorry, Yuvat Singh Sandhu is 15th alongside Sachin Basoya at 15 under par. Angad Karan Avinav Lohan have finished at respectively 12 under par, tied 6th. Yashash M. Chandra, Rahil Ganji and uh, Om Prakash Chauhan, all three of them have signed off at 10 under par, which means they are respectively tied 9. Yes, and have you, as you have a look at the updated leaderboard, both the players are tied still at 18 under par. Yes, and a quick submission of the scorecard with our uh, familiar staff with uh, Jay Sharma and Gagan Chadda. And then out we go back. Uh, what I can assume would be the 18th again for the sudden death playoff. So we'll be right here with you to show you what is going to happen there.
some of the highlights of uh, respective holes by different players on uh, round four for the Haryana Open 2023. Meanwhile, uh, the, both the players are gearing up for a playoff, which would, which would mean that uh, the repeat playoff poll number 18 until we have a winner. And uh, the treacherous 18th is what awaits either of these two players. And uh, what we've seen throughout the week, 18th is no mean, no easy hole. And it will test out the medal of both these players once again. So stay tuned for what is coming up your way to be a two-man playoff between Jarat Singh Sandhu, the local boy, and uh, the established superstar, Ani Basoya, who has a few wins already under his belt. Jairaj would be looking to get his first win under the way. And uh, Ani would be looking to stand in between and add another notch into his feather by another adding another title Uh, as we see the three cards moving back towards the team, we could assume those are the golfers. The two men in the playoff, Jairat Singh Sandhu and Hani Besoya. Hani Besoya is a multiple winner on tour, but uh, this would be the first time Jairaj would win if he ends up winning. And uh, what transpired in the week has gotten to this point where we have a playoff. We had a rather unusual finish by Hani, who had the lead and only needed to make a par on the 18th to win the title. But he ended up uh, three-putting the 18th. So, uh, not a lot of good memories for him going back to the tee. But a player of his uh, experience would brush it off fairly quickly and uh, focus on the task at hand. Whereas Jairaj would be determined to show that he belongs and he is ready to win. Both these players sitting at 18 under par, and uh, both of them had a wonderful round. Jairaj uh, shooting a round of 5 under par, and Honey shooting a round of 6 under par. And the wind, as being witnessed by that flag, started to flutter a little more, and he will soon be with the players. Uh, as we have uh, confirmation that they've moved to the tee box. The clouds now spread out all over the 18th hole in anticipation and excitement to see who clin clinches this title. And it would be a rather remarkable win because this title has come back to this golf course after a gap of 12 years.
it'll also be interesting to watch how they handle their nerves in the playoff with both of them haven't been involved in a playoff before yes uh, most of Hani Basuya's wins have been pure dominant outright wins this is the first time he'll also be tested in a playoff scenario yes and if he wants to uh, add another feather to his cap uh, it's going to be difficult because Jairaj is going to stand in the way and say this is my time now this is my home turf and I want to take this home And uh, here are a few last sighters of the beautiful uh, track, which 126 professionals out of which, sorry, 126 players had uh, ventured out for the last four days to perform out in, and uh, out of which there were 123 professionals and two amateurs. So, uh, a good job by the amateurs, uh, sorry, three amateurs, and a good job by two of them. Both have uh, made who made cut and uh, did try to outperform each other and uh, but one had to be outbidding each other and it seems to be the case that Abhishek Kumar is at 8 under par which is a total of 296 stroke beating the second amateur at who is Umed Kumar by a solid uh, by actually by Two shots. So, two shot difference separates the best amateur of the week. So, good job by both the young men and uh, especially by Abhishek for being the best amateur for the week. And as we are coming closer towards the playoff scenario, we would like to see what's happening and transpiring between the leaders. And uh, as both the men are not done trading blows for this coveted fifth edition title of the Haryana Open 2023. And as you can see, cards coming along and uh, we can see one ball in the middle of the fairway, which would probably be Jairaj's golf ball and uh, Hani venturing towards the similar spot which he was during the regulation play when it was the 72nd hole. Yes, Jairaj must be feeling very confident after that drive. No showcasing of nerves for him. Hani is uh, similar to where he was before. He's walking on to the left. and Which would uh, mean that advantage uh, Jairaj for now. But actually, if you have a bit of uh, flutter by our department, but Hani has just taken the left-hand route, but he's he kept on walking, which means he's flown all of the truck. Yes, because I think uh, Hani, if uh, anything, he's going to just get more and more aggressive for the title uh, now that he knows it's only between him and Jairaj. Seems to be uh, a little on the left in the rough, but as long as he doesn't have to go too far deep, I think he has a clear shot in. So, yeah, absolutely, he seems to have a clear shot in. Luck of the draw has seen with me. Could have been a if he scenario had a uh, ball been stuck or what an uh, unfortunate bounce on the of the tree trees. But uh, Gerard, on the other hand, is in full position for the moment in the middle of the fairway, which means he can use the lift clean and place to his advantage. And surprisingly, it is uh, Hani's owner first and he takes a swipe. He's a quick player and he goes for it and he's had a beautiful shot, but it just comes up short of the slope. It's 
it's uh, in a better position than where he was in regulation play, but it would still be a long part, which means Jairaj, if he can uh, knock it in closer than Honey and on the right tier, he resumed that Jairaj is uh, gunning for the title a little better than him. It's absolutely Jairaj, as for the moment, is in a better position than Honey Masoya, but uh, not an easy shot from that far out uh, where Jairaj is. Both the shots have severity of distance came to play and uh, Jairaj has hit it pretty much on the correct side of the tier, but it is a fraction bit of the green. But due to lift clean and place, this can be a very advantageous position for him. Yes, and uh, I think at this point in time, it's anyone's game. And here's a look at their tee shots on number 18, the first playoff hole. And Jairaj had the opportunity to go first, and that was followed by Honey with a little overdraw, little miss to the left, but nothing that he could not contend with. As these two men stride to the 18th team, we'll have a winner. Either one of them. And. Yes, I'm sure the gallery would be rooting for the local lad uh, in terms of Jairat Sandhu achieving his first title. Running has a sizable uh, body part coming along, far better than his uh, position where he was in the regulation play, which is the 72nd hole. But funnier things have happened, and uh, none of these professionals are going to give each other an opportunity to simply walk away with the trophy. Both of them have played with serious content immigration as Honey and Jairaj both in regulation play finished 600 and 500 respectively. Honey, as we know, he's going to take uh, as much time as he takes usually, which is not a lot. He's a fairly quick player. And I'm going to resume, he's going to make a good uh, effort here because this is the long range part that he had previously as well. So he'll have a good idea of his speed. This absolutely would have a good idea of his speed and the weight also. And he seems to have given it a decent amount of rap. Uh, and he learned a little bit from the putt previously in regulation play, but he had still left himself um, a sizable distance for par and a tricky putt. I think uh, he would have preferred with all his experience to be a lot closer and have a tap in and let the ball roll for Gerard and see what he can do. But uh, a little door opening maybe for Gerard here? Yes, absolutely not a little, quite a bit. Honey has left himself with a fairly lengthy body, a fairly lengthy bar part on the first playoff hole, and Jairaj has got a reasonable, makeable uh, body part on the first playoff hole. So, Jairaj I would have thought Jairaj would actually chip it because sometimes you don't know how the ball reacts through the fringe. So it's better to eliminate the whole process, but maybe he knows a little better. Yeah, but Jairaj is. Done the smarter thing is use the left clean place to it on the further way, further bit away from the hole, but uh, taken most of the fringe out of play and has hit a very good part. Jaraj here also, we see he's uh, knocked it a little further away from the hole than he would have liked. Both these players, maybe a little adrenaline running through their veins. Yes, uh, absolutely. Adrenaline is the one thing with both of them would want to keep in check with as. Both have sizable power attempts, honey more so than Jairaj. But uh, given where Jairaj has left his part, if uh, honey makes this part, it would certainly add a little more pressure on his. Yes, absolutely. Honey would have a bit of an advantage going in first with this length. Uh, 
and he has he sets up he's taken his line he, all he needs is a confident short stroke Bit of misfortune as the ball moved way too much than he was anticipating. Now the door is absolutely open for Gerard Pinson. And for a draw player, sorry, for a left-handed player, this would sit right nicely into his wheelhouse as uh, most of the professionals prefer a part which is a little to their favoring side, which is the ball moving towards them. A right hander likes a draw part, or left hander likes a fade part. Basically, the ball moving towards them. Big moment for the young man of the Tri City Jairaj. He holds destiny in his own hands and uh, he and has he does it. for the very first time he's breaking through and uh, he is the winner of the 2023 get... Haryana Open. Hazed and hydrated by his uh, friends and loved ones. It's a special moment uh, for him to have done it around his people, his hometown and family. It's such a special moment looking at a young winner for the very first time on tour. Yes, and the streak continues for young winners, first time winners coming up, jumping around and claiming their solitude title. Jairaj, the youngster, the South Park for a woman. The Tri City has cemented himself as the tournament winner, as the first playoff hole was enough to decide who wins it outright. A bit of misfortune for Mani Basoya on both the regulation play and the playoff hole, the flat sting not behaving as much as he would have liked. Three putts costing him crucially on the title and which on the hind side for Gerard Sandhu have made sure that he is a first time winner and has broken through the winning circle. And what a time to do it when they are uh, closing in on the back half of the season and some big events coming up next week as well. It's always a special feeling to pull through to close out winning your first event and uh, all the more sweeter and special doing it in your hometown. So. Congratulations to Jairaj, his family, his friends, and all his supporters. Yes, absolutely. A big moment for the young man. And I don't think he'll like, have to worry about taking a shower today, as he's already been given by uh, his loved ones in acknowledgement of what he's achieved. Uh, he probably doesn't have to, but uh, would be highly recommended after 19 holes of golf. And... Uh, as we've covered this entire event for you, it comes to a lovely finish and a wonderful, exciting end as we watched two young players, one experience with multiple wins on tour and one winning for the very first time out playing and out beating the entire field this week. Etching his name in the winner's category for the very first time. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Jairaj breaking through for the very first time. And uh, now all it all awaits is the prize presentation to comments and for the young man to put both his hands on the beautiful coveted trophy of the fifth edition of the Haryana, Punch, Haryana 2023 Open, powered by Wonder Simmons. A big shout out to the bigger industrial leaders who are in terms of as tour partners for the professional golf tour of india is tata steel been there as a very big hand and supporting role for with pgti for years in allowed and vedika spring himalayan spring water Shrutnik, amrutanjan electro plus rolex golf plus athletic drive golf design and the 
media giant AVP courtesy which we are giving you live coverage of the proceedings of every round three and round four of all the tournaments this season and will continue to do, do so. Yes, here's a look at some of the highlights. As the tournament has come towards an end, a bit of a tragic finish as uh, Hani Basoya would have loved to contend without three parting both the times on hole number 18. In fact, all three times yeah, around the third round, the both round and the playoff, all three times, unfortunately, he had to three part this. But uh, knowing Hani Basoya up close and personal, this is a bear, just a sign of showcasing that he is very much in the thick of things and uh, would definitely be in contention week in, week out. Yes, and speaking of uh, our winner here, Jairat Singh Sandhu, it's all the more special because he's held his nerve uh, through and through. He's shown that you be patient and you be there. And when you think it's your time, you come and grab that opportunity and it. So holding his nerve to regulation play, especially on the 18th, and then holding his nerve through the playoff on number 18 as well. And uh, he never let up. He matched Honey and everybody who was pursuing him stroke for stroke. A special finish to a special event, as we've all witnessed in the four days. Regulation play was not enough. 72 holes could not decide a winner amongst the two at 18 under par. Hani Besoya and Jairat Singh Sandhu, it required an extra hole. And Jairat Singh Sandhu managed to clinch the title for the very first time, for the very first professional win in his life. And it's going to be a special and uh, what one could assume is this could be the start of a launch and a flight that he might take into more wins and propel himself in the world of golf further. Yes, this could be the very first pedestal in many more to come for the young man as he's extremely talented and uh, he has just showcased how good he is. And uh, and when the time arises, he can take down giants in forms of Hani Basoya and uh, still be standing strong. The door heads to uh, the Jeev Milka Singh Invitational, which is from the 2nd to 5th November in the Tri-City, host boasting uh, a big price purse of 1.5 CR. And as it subsequently follows to different locations in terms of venues, IOC Masters Golf 2023 at Dig Boy Assam. Kapil Dev's Grand Thornton Invitational will be held in Gurugram with a whopping price purse of 2 CR in the end of November and beginning of December. And, uh, and December 7th to 10th, we have the SSP Invitational, which is hosted by SSP Chaurasia at Royal Calcutta for 1 CR. And then it leads down to the pink city, the city of Forts, uh, which will host Jaipur Open at Rambagh Golf Club for 
a price first of 1 CR. And post that, we will have a list of top 60 decided for the current season of 2023 PGTI. Which with and these players will be invited and sent an invite for the Tata Steel Tour Championship, which will be held in Jamshedpur, which is the biggest PGTI standalone prize purse event, which happens to be at a whopping three CR. So, substantial amount of money up for grabs for all the players who make it to the top 60. The race is on. We have five events left after this and A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to the prize presentation ceremony of the Haryana Open 2023, presented by Wonder Cement. It's been an enthralling week here at the fifth edition of the Haryana Open, presented by Wonder Cement, as the Haryana Open returned on the PGTI schedule after 12 years. The rupees one crore event was also the highest prize money event to be stitched at Panchkula. We had outstanding performances uh, from the likes of Jairad Singh Sandhu, Akshay Sharma, Abhinav Lohan, Hani Basoya, to name a few. After a hard-fought four days, we had the most deserving winner as it came down to a playoff. Now, to begin proceedings, I'd like to invite here Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, CEO, PGTI, Mr. Ritesh Sharma, Associate Vice President, Wonder Cement Limited, Colonel A.S. Dillon, GM, Panchkula Golf Club, and Mr. Rajiv Sharma, Chief Engineer, HSVP. So. Yeah. I'd like to begin by requesting Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, CEO of PGTI, to kindly address the gathering. Ladies and gentlemen, very good afternoon to you all. I'm going to just try and keep it as short and sweet as possible. I know for the TV part, but great week. Jairaj, congratulations. Fantastic playing. Well done, buddy. I guess, uh, you know, some great performance by Hani and Akshay Adunav. But always the next week, I know Akshay has been knocking on the door for a while. So be patient, my friend. I'm sure. Good things are ahead. This is uh, an event which has been revived after almost 12 years. So I'd like to thank uh, the government of Haryana for having this event back. So thank you very much for bringing this event back to the Panchkul Golf Club. We have uh, a sponsor. Yanda Simmons, who actually have never been into a sport, and I'm glad that they have stepped into a field sport, and that is what we love. Thank you very much for your support. And I know for a fact that this will only move from strength to strength, our partnership. So thank you very much, sir, and we look forward to your continued support being followed. Having said that, this is uh, the first time that we've also got Tata Hitachi, who has uh, come on, and I'd like to thank Mr. Sandeep Singh. Unfortunately, he's not here today, but he'll be here tomorrow. Sponsors being one thing, yes, we have a sponsor, but we don't have a golf course. That's a bigger problem. So I'd like to thank Punchkula Golf Club for being uh, gracious and host this week. So thank you very much. This golf course actually have a wild uh, few months back with the, the rain and uh, major damage in this course, but uh, hats off to you and your team for having this uh, golf course back to par. And 
So we must address the condition that it is in so many covers to use in terms of. I'd like to also thank the entire media for the coverage. Of course, we have our live streaming as well. So ABP is a big partner of uh, the PGTI. And of course, uh, Airstream also on Eurosport. So thank you very much. Uh, it's great to have spectators like this. This is what we uh, spoke with. So thank you. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'd now like to request Mr. Ritesh Sharma, Associate Vice President, Wanda Cement Limited, to kindly address the gathering. So, good afternoon, everyone. So, we are very much delighted as a sponsor of this kind of uh, tournament. And I was just talking to him before this event. We have, we, first time we have started the sponsorship of this kind of events. And we are again thankful to everyone. Uh, who has given us this chance to be to become the sponsor of this event? Uh, thank you and congratulations to all winners. And we will be again partner in some other events also. Thank you. Thank you for all your support, sir. We now have a plot presentation ceremony, and I would like to request Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, CEO of PGTI, to kindly present a plaque as a token of PGTI's appreciation to Mr. Ritesh Sharma, representing Wonder Cement, for all the support given by Wonder Cement for this event. We now have a hole-in-one announcement. There was a hole-in-one this week by Shankar Das on the second hole during round three. Shankar will receive a check worth rupees 20,000 from the PGTI. For his effort, I would request Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi to kindly present the check to Shankar. Move on to the prize for the best performance by an amateur. Two amateurs made the cut. This week, but the best performing amateur was Panchkula Golf Club's Abhishek Kumar with a total of 8 over 296. I would request Colonel O.S. Dhillon to kindly present the trophy of best performing amateur to Abhishek Kumar. We had a fabulous uh, finish to the event, decided in a playoff, second time a playoff at Panchkula Golf Club, and uh, we'll now be presenting the prize to the runner-up, which was Hani Basora. He totaled 18 under 270, 68, 70, 66, and 66. We we'll request Mr. Rajiv Sharma, Chief Engineer, HSVP, to kindly present the check to Hani Basora. Finally, the grand prize, the winning prize, and I would request Mr. Ritesh Sharma, Associate Vice President Wonder Cement, to kindly present the championship trophy and the check worth rupees 15 lakh to the winner. And our winner this week is maiden title, Jarad Singh Sando from Chandigarh. Fifth new winner this season on the PGTI, and overall 12th winner this season. He totaled 18 under 270 for his maiden title. He had scores of 66, 69, 68, and 67 today in the final round. Okay. 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 
It's now time for the customary winner speech. So I request Jairaj to kindly do the needful. Hi everyone. First of all, I want to thank all the sponsors, Government of Haryana, Panchkola Golf Club, uh, Wonder Cement, Tata Hitachi, Tata Steel, and all the other sponsors. And uh, I also want to thank uh, my parents. And it makes it even more special that they're here to see it. See my first win uh, today. And uh, I want to thank my coach, my fitness trainer, uh, my physiotherapist, everyone who helped me uh, get to this level. So thank you all. And thank you. Good evening. Many congratulations to the champion, a new winner on the PGTI, Jairaj Singh Sandhu. Before we conclude this prize presentation ceremony, we would like to thank presenting partner, Wonder Cement, associate partner, Tata Hitachi, host venue, Panchkula Golf Club, of course, the government of Haryana who made this event possible, the co staff all members of the club, all players, referees, and officials. And finally, our tour partners, Rolex, Tata Steel, Vedika, Himalayan Spring Water, Amrutanjan, Fruit Peak Electro Plus, Golf Plus Monthly, Athletic Drive, and ABP Live, most important for the live coverage. I would request all players to kindly join us for lunch on the first floor in the clubhouse building. Thank you and look forward to seeing you all next week in Chandigarh. Thank <laughs> you.